is a junior, number 40. Uh, Jackson Hutto is our snapper. He's a senior. And then Gabe Benton, number three, our quarterback, also a sophomore, are the four captains for the Wildcats tonight. Got to tip my hat to the uh, uh, the surface, as we normally do here at the Sportplex, the uh, BR, sporting a little patriotic look tonight with the uh, stars and stripes as we recognize and honor uh, our military uh, have and you know throughout uh, whenever you have served uh, our great country uh, we're recognizing you tonight this is your night uh, Randy Lee uh, Wes Coleman up here in the booth with me uh, guys good to see you guys here on a Thursday night well glad to be here there's a lot going on not only in our area but around uh, I'm leaving the soccer fields we got all kinds of uh, youth events going on in the local area and middle we school. got uh, 10U and 12U football going on in Sylacauga tonight and then we just had the middle school over in Wetumpka so plenty going on uh, but here here, uh, you know, I do want to commend. I'm just walking up, so I'm not sure exactly what all is going on, but uh, we will recognize a lot of our old military graduates, our, our ex-football players here tonight. Chris Harris, who um, I'm biased. I think he's the best kicker we've ever had here, was the one that put all of that together for Aubrey Blackwell, and uh, he's really taken that to heart. You know, he's a lifetime military guy, and he's been in – overseas multiple times right. and uh, we're glad to have him and Cornelia Spradley and uh, her services here at Benjamin Russell High School over 1300 career wins between softball and volleyball for Pam Robinson she got uh uh, a little gift uh, before the game. She got a rocking chair. So she gets to go home and sit in with her grandkids, and I know she's excited about that. And, uh, you know, again, a lot of service. Uh, she's been around the school uh, for a long time and, uh, you know, very deserved. Well, I want to compliment her on her teaching ability. Uh, I had her in anatomy. Um, you know, you have some teachers. I don't want to uh, talk bad about any coaches out there, but they take um, teaching maybe at times not quite as important as other, others do. Pam Robinson was as good a teacher as I had in the high school. She really uh, took pride in not only uh, great on the sporting side, but also in the classroom, and I don't think that I can give her much better compliment than that. No, not, not at all. Uh, uh, Pelham wins a toss, and just like we thought, they, they're going to take the football because uh, tonight, guys, on Military Appreciation Night, it's going to be an offensive shootout. It's going to be an aerial attack uh, for both of these teams uh, tonight. Uh, both of them uh, defensively have struggled this season. Uh, a lot of points given up by both teams, but both teams have been known to put up a lot of points uh, throughout uh, this first half of the season. No, nothing going to change here tonight. Uh, both teams are going to be in attack mode for four quarters. Uh, Pelham comes in at four and three uh, on the season with losses to Oak Mountain, Helena, and uh, uh, Chelsea. And Chelsea uh, able to squeak out a win. So was Helena. Oak Mountain defeated them 17 to nothing. Uh, really uh, tells you about Oak Mountain and what they have. Uh, on the defensive side of the football. But uh, Wildcats going to come out here in just a second, and they're going to be toting uh, the, the flags of I every branch of the military and the Stars and Stripes. So uh, to honor uh, our country and our military veterans, they'll come out through the BR, and I'm looking forward to seeing that as uh, we wouldn't have what we have here in this country today without the brave men and women that – uh, that choose to go and defend. And, Randy, you and I are history buffs, and uh, we, we go back through time, and we get kind of enamored with seeing some of that stuff on on the uh, History Channel and whatnot. But it's uh, good to see the flags run out on the field here. Again, I think Aubrey went out. If you notice all of the flags, Aubrey went out and had flags that I'm guessing that we'll continue to uh, use. And, Chris Harris also brought five for each of the branches of the military right. out here for the kids to, to run out with tonight. And, uh, again, we're so proud of so many of our ex-football players that have moved on to serve in the branches of the military. We got quite a few that I could, you know, name off the top of my head that are doing great things, not only just uh, serving but moving up the ranks. Uh, Jared right. Green and uh, Ryan Willis. Can I keep going down the list? Yeah, so many can. kids that we've had. <laughs> Uh, to move on in the last three or four years um, and, and doing tremendous things. And I, I think that that's a testament to not only this community, but what that football program serves for for our kids right. here in this community to kind of, you know, that, 
that's what football is. It, it toughens you up, Brett. I'll say it that. does. It does. I lost you there for a second there, Randy. Glad to have you. You back. Uh, we're getting set for the first half. Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance kickoff, kicking right to left. Wildcats home maroon jerseys, silver pants, and uh, white numerals maroon headgear, and the uh, silver BR on the side. Pelham in the white jerseys, green pants, green numerals, white helmets with the Panther on the side. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith and Opelika. We've got it. new Chevy and GMC trucks, plus late model used trucks, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drives, crew cabs, diesels, and regular gas vehicles on the ground and on the way. Not finding what you want? Reserve your vehicle now. Call our inventory hotline to see what's coming. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC Buick and Opelika. Get ready to smile. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call red flag pest control today. I'm Scott Davis with red flag pest control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. So you finally got the boat, ATV, or side-by-side -side of your dreams, huh? Let's make it yours with marine-grade audio that'll provide crisp, high-quality sound that's loud enough to be heard, whether you're cruising on the lake or hitting a mud hole. Come see Steve at the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn so you'll be ready to crank up the volume. Whoa, but wait. You don't have to pull out of the water and trailer it to Auburn. The Car Stereo Shop can handle all of your work at any one of the Lake Martin Marinas. Carlisle Heat and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Daveville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You've got a friend. So you want to build a home? Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops, done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of, you got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. Folks, East Watts on Davil Road in Alexander City is always making improvements, making it bigger, like making their pellet ice a 10-pound bag for $2. How about their biscuits? Have you tried their biscuits with regular cheese or hoop cheese with sausage and ham and salmon? Oh, and throw an egg on there, and you got a happy person. And don't forget about they have propane and wood. That's Folks, East Watts, Davil Road, Alex City. Noah Alsabrook will kick right to left. High-powered offense uh, for Pelham will be on the field first here tonight. Alsabrook will approach. High kick. Play is going to be blown dead. There's a penalty flag across the way. Someone got a little bit of an early start. That ball was fielded somewhere around the 15 and was going to be brought up, but and back up the Wildcats five yards, so we'll have the Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance kick off again. Uh, great night for, for high school football. It's been a rainy week leading up to tonight, and uh, looks like for the foreseeable future, going to be clear around these parts, and uh, glad to see it. We need to dry out a little bit. Thoughts and prayers with the people from Pelham uh, tonight as they uh, had a mess last night, a flash flood. Yeah. School closed uh, today, and uh, they were able to still make their way here. And uh, it was talks throughout the day, and 
Wanted to make sure, but several of their players impacted by these floods. And so our prayers are with them and all the people up in Pelham, Alabama. Going to try this again. Noah Alsabrook going to approach it. Going to kick it to the right side this time. It's going to be a very short kick up to the 35. Going to bring it out and uh, going to turn the corner up here to the 40. And going to be brought down around the 48-yard line. They're going to have the ball at midfield. A uh, return there by Kamari Hollis, a 6 150-pound junior around the right side. Brought it up about 15, 16 yards, and they'll start at the 48. I feel like Noah's getting better as the season's moving on, but it's his first time to kick, and um, as he continues to grow, uh, hopefully our special teams will grow with him over the next few years as well because <coughs> giving up these field positions at the 48 to 50 yard line every game makes defensive football extremely tough. Langford is the quarterback in the shotgun formation, two to the top, one to the bottom. Takes the snap, gonna, gonna pull it over there to the left and a fake in the middle, 40, 35, 30 yard line before he's brought down and boy with ease, you can see uh, what Langford's able to do, he's been doing this all season, and when you going in to the season, he may be one of the better quarterbacks that we'll face all year. And boy, I tell you, just out to practice early on that first. Well, play. somebody's going to have to hit him every play. I don't care if he gives it, pitches it. Um, someone has to be hitting this guy, or he's going to kill us. He's that good out in the open field, and we're lucky to get him down there. First down and ten at the twenty-nine. Moving right, uh, left to right, two receivers down here to the bottom. Going to pump fake, go down that far sideline and knocked out of bounds at the 15. Pass complete for about a 15-yard gain. So it's a well-oiled machine offensively. This team has uh, moved the ball up and down the field most of the year. Well, you're susceptible to that when you're in cover two. Yep. Right there in the middle of the zone. They just hit a little sit down right about 12, 15 yards down the sideline. Our corner lets him release. Our safety can't get over there quick enough and a perfectly thrown football by Pelham to pick up another first down. They'll stay in the spread, two to the top, two to the bottom, ball on the far hash, moving left to right. Langford, shotgun formation, and take the snap. And uh, he's going to take it and run up the middle. And Wildcats <laughs> grab him right there at the 10 for a four-yard gain that time, uh, forcing him to keep the football and run it between the tackles. So second down coming up for the Panthers at the Wildcat 10. Yeah, better job of spying there. Williams comes up, makes the stop right there at the line of scrimmage. He does fight ahead for three more yards, takes it right outside the 10-yard line where the nose of the football is touching that 10. 10.49 to go here in the first. We're scoreless. Pelham on the drive, second down and six. Langford shotgun. Two to the bottom, one to the top. Now is the short side of the field. That's man coverage up there. Man in motion right to left. That little triple option. They're going to hold it. And uh, dive down to around the four. Mm -hmm. So just kept it and ran with the tailback. They both kind of had it for about three or four yards and then ran down to the four. You got to hit him. Every single snap of the football, he's the one that can hurt you. Right. He's the playmaker, no yeah, doubt. I, I mean, Everything if, runs through him. If the running back happens to make a big play on you, so be it, Coach Coleman. I mean, what do you call it? I call it a spy, but yeah, I don't even spy. Yeah, it, it. It's ba they're basically running the triple option out of the spread. The quarterback has three options every play so far. First and goal at the four. Langford's going to take it. Punt fake. Wildcats wrap him up right there. Josh Watson grabbed him. At the four-yard line, no gain on the play. It brings up second down and goal. Josh has played extremely well the last few weeks, not only on the offensive side of the football where we've seen him at times, but defensively, Coach Coleman, he stepped in over here and has played physical football. Yeah, you're going. Well, look, we're going to have to play sound. We're going to have to play technique. Um, they're going to have to read their keys with the, against this Pelham offense. Uh, you, you, you. You, you see a guard step down, and then, then you're inside. You're going to have to fill that gap. No matter what, doesn't matter if there's a ball there, you're going to have to fill the gap. Spread it out on second and goal at the four. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Langford takes the snap. Going to hand it. It's going to be a procedure play here. Yeah. Maybe a fault, maybe a delay a game. I'm not sure. As 40 shows on the clock. And, uh, we'll get an illegal procedure man in motion early. So that'll back them up five. So, but hey, with this offense, it doesn't matter. Um, that can actually be a little bit dangerous because it gives a little bit more space. But, you know, he's very good with his play action fakes, guys. He well, really. That's the reason you, you don't give it an option. You know, if somebody that fakes the football as well as he does, right. he still gets hit. Exactly. Every single snap of the football, you can, in a running play, you can, I mean. Oh, yeah, you can hit negligence, it. Negligence, my friend. I didn't see him give it off. He's down. Absolutely. Second down and goal from the nine now. 
Under nine minutes to go here in the first quarter, scoreless. Langford in the shotgun formation. Takes a snap, gonna do that read, a little pump fake, he's gonna roll out and he's got a lot of green grass over there. Uh, Wildcats Good gonna tackle. run him down at the three. Maybe the two yard line. Third down and goal there, he's able to pick up six. He's scary in open field, man. You don't want to see that guy one-on-one, -on -one Very sure. good job by Dontarius out there, just holding his ground back on uh, in coverage in the secondary and then coming up about three yards away from the goal line and getting that headgear across and getting the stop down. 8.29 to go here in the first. We're scoreless. Pelham knocking on the door. Third and goal at the two. Langford in the shotgun, going to take it and change that snap. Look to the sideline. Eight seconds on the play clock. Going to shift the back over to his left now. Three seconds. Man in motion. Going to run ahead. He fell down. Fell down at the two-yard line. Maybe lunged to the one, but he's not in there. It'll be fourth and goal, and there's no doubt they'll go for it. This is a, a touchdown machine over here for Pelham uh, this season. Uh, not going to fool with a field goal here, but the Wildcats, this is the kind of – this is the kind of – start you need if you can somehow hold them here and get the football back that is a massive win for this team uh, I, i'm with randy he said it a couple of times hit the quarterback every play hey i mean i think he's only given it one time right. and then he threw a, a, a very nice cover two vertical route over there on the sideline but hey on the option play it's been nothing but him so i'm with randy Man, ball, hit the quarterback every play this ball's not at the one it's at the one and a half almost the two so fourth and goal at the two here They'll split one lone receiver out here to the right. Two backs beside Langford, one on either side. Fourth and goal at the two here. There's a penalty flag. We'll see what this call is. It's against the Wildcats. Yeah. They move it to the one. Lining up offsides. In the neutral zone, I'm guessing. Yeah. Trying to creep up in there. Guys pinched inside trying to... Ball goes inside the one now. Pelham now with 19 seconds on the play clock. We'll huddle up back here around the eight. They'll break the huddle with 12. No snaps under center. If he's not taking yeah. one right here, he won't tonight. Seven seconds on the play clock. There's a penalty. That's a false start in the backfield. Running back got going too fast. And that's going to cost them five. It's going to back them up here. 7.30 is the important thing to note here on the clock is they've chewed up a lot of this first quarter. And this drive is only this drive started at 48. So uh, Wildcat defense has really stiffened up down here inside the red zone. Be a huge victory. Huge victory to start this game if they can hold them out right here. Ball just outside the five between the five and the six. On the far hash. Quarterback's a guy that can hurt you. Two to the bottom, one to the top. 7-15 and counting here. Shotgun snap, quarterback under pressure. Oh. Missed him. He's going to go to the end zone, and we missed the tackle in the backfield, and he hits the corner for a touchdown. Had a shot at him back there, and we missed the tackle. Nothing else you can say. Yeah, good defense from the backside, uh, but such a great skill guy back there at quarterback can make you miss, and when you do miss, and you've only got five or six yards to gain with some speed like that, he tears up ground quickly and picks up the touchdown. Good drive there for Pelham, almost five minutes off the clock. Extra point high snap. Kick is on the way, and the kick is good. So your new TR group score is Pelham. Seven Wildcat zero. There's an AM plumbing timeout on the field, but we'll keep it right here. As Pelham strikes first, takes the opening kick off and drives down the field. 48, uh, 52 yards rather. Started on their own 48. And we're able to punch it in, but it wasn't easy. Wildcat defense really, really played them to the end, forced them there on fourth and goal to go for it. And we know what we're up for tonight. You know it's going to be a scoring battle. You just got to get yours too. And you got to protect the football on a night like tonight. Pelham will kick left to right. 
I do think most of what I saw there is fixable. Yeah. And I, I mean, you can't fix athleticism. I mean, my gosh, we're sitting here in Ellick City. We've had quarterbacks back there that have made people look silly my entire life. Uh, so you can't really clean that up completely. But, Brett, most of the running plays that we saw there was number 10. One right, the right. He, he's, everything runs through him. It's going to be a little pooch kick down the middle. we got to get on it. Going to field it and going to fall down right there 23-yard line. So, not sure if we're instructed, if it's not a skill guy, not to fall on it. But we fall on the 23, so we'll start first and 10 there. 7.05 to go here in the first quarter. Wildcats will come out on offense for the first time tonight. Moving right to left. Gabe Benton with a great night two weeks ago uh, against Smith Station. Had a five-touchdown night. Corey Milner also 200 yards in receiving. Send a man in motion right to left. Can hand off up the middle. And DeMarcus runs over a guy 30 up to the 32. Still fighting forward, man. We have the matchup we want up front. Uh, they're very small. Along the offensive and uh, along the defensive front, and right there, the Wildcats proved it. They were able to rip off in almost nine yards there on first down. Uh, that's not even saying it as bluntly as you can, Brett. Last yeah. year we saw this, and we see it again here tonight. If we can't match up and move these guys around, something's wrong. Go out in the quad up there to the top. They'll show a blitz package here from their linebacker. That's the guy you watch over there. Outside linebackers, they're better two players on defense. Gabe Benton by himself in the shotgun, going to drop back to pass, going to throw the ball, and it was hit. His arm was hit as he went to throw it. Had plenty of time to throw the football, and I think he was looking for Corey across the middle. It'll be third down and two. Good opportunity with second and short to try to hit one down the field. I like the matchup that we saw with Corey Milliner out here on the short side of the field. But still, only third and two, 618 to go here in the first. Wildcats trail seven to nothing. Spread two to the top, one down here to the bottom. Good block, DeMarcus over the right side. Got a first down, broke a tackle 40 up to the 43-44. Wildcats gonna be able to run the football on this defensive group tonight. They pick up their first first down of the night. Compliments of cardiology, associate, UAB cardiology associates up to the 43. And we'll see this 12 package, I believe, is Watson in the football game. No, uh, this is a little Bra Evan. Braden. He's got is. Braden by yeah. himself in this package. Two to the bottom, one up to the top. Gabe, good nice. block over here. Got off of it, though, and then only able to get about two yards right there. Like for a second, it was going to be a little bit more than it was. But DeMarcus able to get up to the 45. So will give him a couple yards, second down and eight. Matchup down here with the secondary. As we'll see us trying to move. Corey Milliner around to get the matchup that we want. Boy, I love this one. Trips down here to the bottom, one to the top here. Gabe Benton, Marcus McNeil beside him to the left. Second down and eight, it's 45. Going to play action. Gabe's going to take it, throw it. Pass is complete up to the 45. There was something wrong there, though. Two men in the same area. Went through one of our guys' hands and went to Corey Milner, and I think that was his intended target. And that'll move the chains again inside Panther territory across the 45. Showing man matchup on the short side and then move off into a zone defense and see if we can run something down this left sideline to Corey. The bunch set and they'll split Foster and Milner down here to the bottom. Gabe in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Going to drop back. It's going to be a screen. Ooh, boy, he had it nice. He had it yeah. set up. Yeah, it yep. set up to, to be a big big hitter right there. And Corey didn't look it in. Kind of went through his hands. He was looking upfield before he got the ball. And a lot of skill guys do that. They already see where they want to go with it. And they're trying to snatch it. Great so, play call, though. Right, it was a good play call. Second down and 10. Trips to the top. One down here to the bottom. Gabe Benton in the shotgun. Demarcus McNeil to his right. Got to match score for score tonight. Got to put points on the board. Gabe been in the shotgun formation. Takes a snap, bobble snap. Gabe's going to pick it up. Going to look down the field, throw it, and incomplete. Uh, damage control there by Gabe Benton. Uh, able to waste that one, but you can't make mistakes offensively. Communication issues in the backfield with the running back and the quarterback. And uh, these have been... Issues all season long, whether it be 13 to 15 penalties a game or 
silly mistakes like this that cause drives to break down. And this matchup's it's in our hands to score 40 tonight. Right. Yeah. Trips up to the top, one down to the bottom. Shotgun formation for Gabe Benton. Takes the snap. Drops back. Going to bring a blitz. Gabe broke a tackle, and they're going to get him, though. Only out about a three-yard gain. That's the slowest blitzing linebacker I've ever seen. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be offensive, but I, I think it took him five seconds to get to him, and we didn't block him. So, Wildcats can keep the offense on the field here on fourth down and and eight, got to move the chains here. Got to find a way to move the chains. Need the Pelham 35. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Morrison Haynes Law Firm and Alexander City are proud members of our community. Our team of dedicated employees live, work, and support in our local communities, and we are all actively engaged in our hometowns. Just like all area players, parents, and coaches, we are committed to the betterment of our local area and want to wish all of our area teams the best of luck this fall. The Morrison Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City, a proud supporter of all area athletics. Adams Health and Rehab in Alexander City helps you get back to life faster. When you need the best rehabilitative care following surgery, a stroke, or heart attack, Adams Health and Rehab offers a comfortable, home-like atmosphere, private suites with phone and flat screen, even a secure Alzheimer's dementia unit, and highly skilled 24-hour nursing care. Adams Health and Rehab is here for you by helping you get back to life. Adams Health and Rehab, 256-329-0847. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton. They get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. The SureShot is prepared with all of your outdoor needs. Whether you're looking for the perfect firearm, new hunting gear, or an upgrade in your work wardrobe, we are the place for you. Plus, we can do custom embroidery on site. With a full line of grills and outdoor cookware, the SureShot is the area's best place to prepare for your next outdoor adventure. Visit us on Highway 280 in Alexander City today. The SureShot. It's time for football, so get the playbook out and meet the lineup at KiaOfAuburn.com. Score a touchdown at your tailgate with the all-new Carnival MPV. Or check out the new 2022 Kia Sportage, the newest member of the Kia SUVs. Score more with style and performance in the K5 or Stinger. Selection, price, trade-in value. You always get it all at Kia of Auburn. Make the winning play and shop for a vehicle or book a service from home at KiaOfAuburn.com. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. It's going to be a punt. I think he punted it in the end zone. Nope. Oh, going to land inside the two. Nice. Corey Milner 
able to run down there and grab it, but it's a good job there. But, buddy, you better you better execute on offense tonight or it'll get away from you. Perfect kick right there by the sophomore quarterback, Gabe Benton, and I like to call. I mean, there's no reason to start going for it on fourth down right inside your 50-yard line in the first period. This is – the offense I saw, unless we give up a big play in the passing game, if we'll start tackling 10 in the backfield, they're running back. See, they may go for 200. What am I to say? But I don't see it so far. Last year they had a great tailback that caused they did. problems. 3.58 to go in the first quarter. Pelham at their own two. Shotgun formation going to hand off to the back over here. And great right. hit right there. Gets out to the nine, though. That's a – a big gainer around the right side to get off the shadow of their goal line. Well, they seal us in on here on the left side, and it's nine yards, excuse me, five or six yards before we get a defender up in the secondary to ever get a headgear on the running back. That's just a good job of blocking over here and taking what they get. Second down and four, 334 and counting to go in the first. Panthers lead seven to nothing. Langford in the shotgun, two to the top, two to the bottom. Takes a snap, gonna hand off that tail back again, broke a tackle, gets to the 15, gets to the 17, picks up a first down, up to the 19 yard line. Wildcats alone for the ride on that one, first and 10. Well, the size they're giving up on the defensive front, they make up for on the offensive front. This is a big, not a very tall group, but a very strong looking offensive line down there for Pelham. And uh, we come off off the bottom of two of them right there as they pancake us down into the ground and pick up that first down. Two to the top, two down to the bottom here. First down and 10 at the 19. Actually, yeah, at the 19 That's where they'll put the ball. Wildcats going to show a blitz. It'll go quick pass out there, screen, complete the 20, 25 up to the 30, still on his feet, broke a tackle, still in open field. The Wildcats trying to rip the ball out up here around the 35. Two forty-four to go here in the first quarter. And you know it looks like Brian Robinson Jr. This past weekend <laughs> against hit, and the next thing right. you know, he's nine yards up the field, grabbing and jerking on a jersey, and <laughs> not hitting anybody. Got to wrap up. First down and ten. Two thirty to go here in the first quarter. Very quick first period of play. Pelham's had it majority of the first quarter. They're up seven to nothing. That's your TR group score. Man in motion right to left. Hand off to the tailback. Gonna be put down after about a five yard gain up to around the 45 is where they're gonna put him down. Zai Owens, I believe, in on that stop, Brett. Kind of left arm through the line Got of scrimmage and that. That holds on, uh, but does fight ahead for about five, eight. six more yards after contact there. Right. Eight yards, they'll give him second down and two. Across the 45. This drive started on their own three. 144 to go here in the first quarter. Shotgun snap, pump fake, uh, gonna drop back, gonna run around, just gonna throw it up for grabs. And this is what Coach Blackwell told me in the locker room we want him to do. We want him to get out there and kind of run around and, and he's, he has the tendency to throw the ball up for grabs if he doesn't have a play immediately. And right there, the Wildcats didn't give him what he wanted right out of the gate, Randy, and he didn't have anywhere to go with it. And I think there was a man downfield. They're going to get him for throwing the ball after a lineman got upfield. Well, the thing we did the best there is contain. Uh, once he did have the play break holding. down, a holding, holding penalty, so it will be a spot of the foul, and they'll bring it back to right outside the 35 to 36. But we contained. He had nowhere to go. Right. He wanted to scramble up that left sideline. We did a really good yep. job of staying at home and not allowing him to do that. Second down and 12 now, back to their 36. Two down into the bottom, one to the top. Langford in the shotgun, sends a man in motion right to left. A little high snap, hands it off. Wildcats do a better job that time. Caden Hyde going to get him down right there at the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be third down and 10 coming up for Pella. Big play in the football game. Also Josh Watson there with his second stop of the night. Uh, coming up off the bottom of that pile, he and Caden Hyde. And, uh, just holding their ground, Brett, not giving up that corner, not getting sealed inside. Uh, to give up the corner and a better job defensively. We'll call it third and nine, roll under a minute to go here in the first. Langford will split two down here to the bottom, which is the wide side, and they'll sprint his back out of the backfield up to the top now. 
Langford by himself, takes the shotgun snap, gonna drop back to pass, sets his feet, nowhere to go with it. Gonna roll out to the right. Wildcats in pursuit, gonna stop. He is belted as he throws the ball up. Wildcats have a chance, they pick it off. Right. They pick it off inside the five. And Gavin Vickers welcomed Langford to Alex City right there as he got a dose. No different than a big punt there for Pelham, but still. Going up, he had two receivers down there. Glad the Wildcats went up and picked it off. Well, I like our chances here to stop this offense some um, tonight. A really good job by Williams back there. But, you know, Gavin and the, the white hat was right on top of this, and he didn't call a holding penalty, but it was very close. Uh, Gavin was whooping that left guard a little bit. Uh, he gets a, a slight little hold, and Gavin gets away from him there at the end and makes a nice stick. But a good job by Ty down the field. And the way that that play was delayed was good for us because they had two receivers deep behind us on this Well, he showed his side. strength of his arm. He yeah. got it down there. And as you said, Ty went up and grabbed it. First down and 10, Wildcats at their three now. Gabe been in the shotgun in the end zone. Takes a snap, gonna hand off up the middle, made one man miss, and then he is engulfed right there in the middle. Not much. Made the first guy miss, and there was nothing after that. So it brings up second down. 24 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And the Wildcats trail Pelham seven to nothing. Second offensive possession of the quarter here. The Wildcats may elect for the clock to run out here. And I think that's what they'll do. Seven to nothing as we head to the second period of play. There's an AM plumbing timeout on the field. Your TR group score. Panther seven, Wildcats zero. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith and Opelika. We've got them. New Chevy and GMC trucks, plus late model used trucks, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drives, crew cabs, diesels, and regular gas vehicles. On the ground and on the way. Not finding what you want? Reserve your vehicle now. Call our inventory hotline to see what's coming. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith, Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Opelika. Get ready to smile. Are your feet in pain? Alex City Foot Specialties specializes in diagnosing and treating disorders of the foot. If you are experiencing conditions related to foot injuries, diabetic care, arthritic care, bunions, calluses, or any other foot issues, Alex City Foot Specialties has the experience and in-depth knowledge of podiatry to treat and alleviate your foot pain. Call today for an appointment. You'll be glad you did. 256-215-5596. 256-215-5596. When you want to look your best, it's Mitchell & Company since 1977, located right here in Alexander City at 1685 Highway 22 West. So, you finally got the boat, ATV, or side-by-side -side of your dreams, huh? Then make it yours with marine-grade audio that'll provide crisp, high-quality sound that's loud enough to be heard whether you're cruising on the lake or hitting a mud hole. Come see Steve at the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn so you'll be ready to crank up the volume. Whoa, but wait. You don't have to pull out of the water and trailer it to Auburn. The Car Stereo Shop can handle all of your work at any one of the Lake Martin Marinas. If you need storage and the monthly fee just doesn't make sense, Cotton State Barns has the solution. Cotton State Barns has been selling top quality portable barns since 2002. You can even have a barn built on your location and you can customize a barn to your liking. Built in Alabama for Alabama. Come by and take a look at Cotton State Barns of Alex City. Financing is available. Stop paying storage fees. Get a Cotton State Barn. Cotton State Barns of Alex City. If you don't see the cotton, don't pick it. Located at 1501 Tallapoosa Street next to Alex City Transmission. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life.
for the most complete real estate service. Riverbank and Trust has it all covered. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot for future construction, or buying your dream home, Riverbank and Trust can help. With conventional, jumbo, VA, FHA, and USDA loans with competitive interest rates, Riverbank and Trust can close your loan from start to finish in 30 days or less. Let Melanie Fochi, Randy Dawkins, Abby Guy, or Phil Blassingame put their nearly 100 years of combined experience to work for you, simplifying the buying process. Riverbank and Trust, for complete real estate service in the Lake Martin area. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator, Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Heading to the second period of play here on the Wildcat Football Network. Wildcats Trail Panthers. Seven to nothing here. That's your TR group score. And Wildcats on offense here. I have it second down and 10. Got a long way to go. Got 97 to hit pay dirt. They start at their own three yard line. Moving left to right now as they switch sides of the field. We got to play a little bit more physical on the defensive side, but I'll give us a couple of compliments here. We're in the right position to make plays, and, and I like our scheme. And the only pass plays that we're seeing that we're giving up are broken down plays that he's unable to scramble and he's just slinging it up down the field. We got a chance to stop them enough to win this football no game doubt. tonight. Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Wildcats need to put points on the board. Second down and 10 at their own three. Gabe Benton in the shotgun formation, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. It's going to be a little quick screen. Chris Foster, and we didn't block anybody. They rip his helmet off down here at the two. And Chris Foster, and it was one-on-one -on -one out here. If you could get him in open space, you got to like his chances of getting upfield. But they broke down on it and made a good play here. Yeah, good job by their secondary playing physical, getting through our block. And back there, I was, was kind of hoping for a, a face mask. It was close. Yeah, yeah I was too. Uh, need to move the chains here. It's third down and seven. We're able to pick up some yards here. They're all sides. That's the penalty. We'll take five. It'll be third and two now. So Wildcats here maybe getting a gift. And sometimes you just need something like that to get us drive going, get us off the, the goal line here. Now the ball comes out to the 11. It'll be third down and two. Ball on the near hash. Two receivers split to the top. One receiver down here at the bottom is McKinney. And we know Newt McKinney has world-class speed and one of the fastest players in 6A down here on man coverage. It is straight-up man coverage down here for Newt. Play action. Gabe never saw him coming from the backside. Ball's loose. And Gabe looked to his left, and somebody came from the backside, and I think Braden got on the football and, and recovered the fumble. So Braden Pritchard recovers the fumble at the five yard line, saving a first and goal for Pelham. Just came around the left side in. Yeah. Good, I, I mean, <clears throat> didn't have much time. It looked like a really good defensive call for what offensive play we had to execute out there. Yeah, this is not the night you want to go stale no. offensively. I can just tell you. This team's giving up a boatload of points. And you just go down through there and look. They haven't stopped many people. There's a punt. It's going to be a low line drive. It's going to be fielded on the run at 35. And that's a block in the back. And that's going to come back. That was a savior there. We did get good tackle in open field over there by Ty around the 29. But still, that was a line drive punt that they were able to field on the run. And, but Jackson Hutto getting down as a snapper. He got blocked in the back. It's going to come back. But still, it doesn't matter where the ball is on the field with this group. They will. They've lit up the, the scoreboard this season. But hey, so far it's seven to nothing. I don't think anybody thought it was going to be seven to nothing with 10 12 to go here in the first half. Wildcats need to continue to play good defense. Ty Williams on that last possession with a pick. 
It'll be Langford in the shotgun. They'll go four wide, two to either side. Ball on the 40, the Wildcat 40. Langford takes the snap. Going to roll out to the right here. And Wildcat's going to run him out of bounds after about a two or three yard gain. Doing that little play action. Pulled it down RPO. Only picked up two, it looks like. Is uh, ran out of bounds fairly early there. So that's a good job on that left side by the Wildcat defense. Good speed by Savon Spradley to meet him on the sideline there. Closing speed was needed. Um, for those Ellick City Benjamin Russell fans for many, many years, their quarterback's got a lot of Timmy Lawson in him. He's going to fake the throw 30 times back in the backfield and hope that you jump. And once you jump, he's gone right by you. And great job by Savon not biting on one of those fakes, bro. Second down and eight, Langford. Going to drop back to pass, going to throw it out here to 35 and brought down at the 30 yard line. It'll be right at the sticks. It's a little swing pass out here to their tight end. Move the chains. It'll be first down for Pelham at the 30. He's got a live arm. You know, in the passing game, they're not doing a lot of, you know, deep passes. They're trying to keep everything on the outside, Coach Coleman. And so far, when they do want that, they seem to be open. Langford in the shotgun here on first down and 10. A little quick pitch out there on the right side. Found a scene. Got down inside the 20 and put down there around the 17. A little quick pitch to the, to the back. They pick up another first down. Jai Hicks, our middle linebacker, only a sophomore, makes that stop, but not until the first down was gained down that right side. Good job sealing us off. Not a great job by us taking on blocks and coming up and uh, getting him down, but I like the play call there by the Panthers to pick up the first down. 9.09 to go here in the second. Panthers lead 7 to nothing on the drive again. Two to the top, one to the bottom. Shotgun formation for Langford. Langford takes a snap. Going to throw a little quick screen over there to the right, and Wildcats have him wrapped up. There you go. Got him right there at the point of attack and able to uh, get him down for no gain there. That's a win. Anytime, no positive yards there. Jai Hicks on the spot. Second down and 10 coming up for the Wildcat. I mean, for the Panthers. I can't say enough good things about our two middle backers. They have, if they have had a snap off this year, I don't remember. I need to repeat that. It's almost amazing to say it. But they have played so tough and uh, Jai on his second straight stop. Second down and 10, Langford going to option key. Boy, he split the defense. He's going to walk in the end zone. Confusion. Yeah, that was yeah. really I mean, all it was. Us not in position. Us moving around on the snap. Really, I think I'd have to go back and watch the replay, but I think we blocked each other away from making the play. Right in the middle. And, uh, you can't do that with a dynamic playmaker at quarterback like they have. You know, a couple of missed stops, next thing you know is a touchdown. We were all around it. And then all of a sudden, he was able to get through that front group. Oh, he, he missed, missed it. it. No, did he get it through? My oh, goodness. That gummit. A bullet. Somehow found the upright, found it through the uprights. It's 14 to nothing. That is your UTR group score. I'm telling you, man. Look. 8.18 to go, you've got to score. I mean, you knew they were going to be tough offensively. They got a playmaker at quarterback, and we knew this is the first of the year before anybody even played a game, uh, that their their deal is their deal is offense. So, Wildcats have got to find a way to, uh, to get a drive here and answer. 8.18 to go. Wildcats will get the ball to start the second half. And love a drive here to get in the end zone. Yeah, we need a, we need a spark off offensively. Uh, we're we're sitting with 28 total yards on the offensive side of the ball, and that's just not us. Offense has been our strength up so up to this point to, in the season. Well, and it's look, like both of y'all said, this 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 matchup's in our favor. Yeah, it's set up to score. We just kind of hurt ourselves so far. See if we can get a good return here. Going to be fielded at the 18. Going to be brought up. Made one man miss in 30 to 35. Going to be 
down around the 37. A good return that time by Ty. And the Wildcats will start with their best field position. See what formation we come out in. We haven't seen a lot of four wide, have we, from the Wildcats. We're willing no. to run the football. And unfortunately, they pinned us back. Well, here you go. This is what you're going to see here. I think we're going to spread it out a little bit. We'll try a little bit of four wide, and they'll split three down here to the bottom, which is the wide side of the field. First and 10, our own 37, moving left to right. Gabe Ben takes the snap. Going to play action, going to roll out. Gabe's going to throw it over here to Chris Foster. Made the first man miss in open field 45, man. He made the second guy miss and got up to the 49. Picked up a Wildcat first down. Compliments to UAB Cardiology Associates. Man, that guy is shifty. Great play call right there. It was hard. Had a lot of eye candy going back the opposite way. A little buck sweep action going to the left side. Actually swing that <laughs> offensive tackle on the right side on the Opposite way to, and uh, Chris Foster makes a couple of guys miss for the first down. Trips to the top now. McKinney down here to the bottom. Shotgun snap here coming up for Gabe Benton. Demarcus McNeil running back, moves over to his right. Four seconds on the play clock. Got to get the snap off here. Takes the snap. Gabe drops back. Going to throw it all the way out to Chris Foster. Made the first man miss. Going to be brought down after... Two yards, a long throw for two Ooh. yards. Second down and eight coming up for the Wildcats. Seven, 12 and counting here in the first half. Wildcats down 14 nothing. Trips down here to the bottom, one up to the top. Yay, yeah, Benton in the shotgun. He had a little bit of early movement. They didn't throw the flag. Man, oh. Lord, he threw a bullet to Chris. It was Good only a call. three yard pass downfield. And he had Chris, it set up nicely, yeah, Chris was maybe pointing down at DeMarcus. Yeah, he had about six or eight yards to pick up that first down. Didn't have a defender. Uh, just threw it slightly behind Chris, but the play call would have worked out for a first down there. They're doing a great job in the secondary. Their, their safeties aren't giving us, they're not allowing us to get behind them. And they know where number four is every play. They've third, got two on top of them now. Third and seven, man in motion. Gabe gonna drop back to pass. See, they've, they've, got, they've got four double team wherever he is on the field. And it's a safety over the top. Not having anybody else get open. Gabe gets sacked back here at the 40 and right now looks unsure of himself back there on where to go with the football. Well, he's been used to going to four when everything breaks down or the man-to-man -man matchup with four is always in our favor, we feel like. But tonight when you've got two deep safeties and that one deep safety even on the short side of the field is kind of pinched over uh, to put a double-team look on him. There's nowhere to go with that football. He throws it left there, it's picked off. Punt the football out of here. Good kick. Good punt there. He's going to hit at the 29 and going to roll out of bounds around the 20. Great job by Caden Hyde angling that punt down the right sideline and getting that last bit of roll to take it down to the 21 yard line. 14 to nothing, Pelham leads. We got 552 left to go here in the first. <clears throat> Coach Coleman, we got 40 yards offense tonight. I don't think we do. Maybe it's, right at yeah, it. It's, it's right at that. Hang on, I'll, I'll tell you on both ends. Yeah, we're not even that. We're, they're sitting at 148, and we're sitting at 32. That's the storyline. That is. Yeah. Knew we had to score to, to kind of keep up. Have had one stop defensively here tonight. Had a good chance on a second. Yeah. Langford in the shotgun formation takes snap, pump fake, going to throw down the middle of the field. It's overthrown. Gavin Vickers right in his face, bringing pressure, made him – Get rid of it a little bit too soon, and he airmailed it, second down and 10. And that play was made by Gavin because their receiver was behind us by the end of this. Our recognition back in the secondary wasn't all that good there. And Gavin putting enough pressure that he had to put it up quickly and, right. and overthrows the receiver by seven yards down the field. Second down and 10, ball still right outside the 20 at the 21-yard line. Langford in the shotgun, send a man in motion right to left. 
And a handoff right side, and there's uh, Hicks Hold coming up. up. And they stopped that forward momentum headgear came off. So that's Savon. No, Savon, Savon that's, lost his headgear is what I'm saying. No, it's, it's actually Jai Hicks who comes up and makes the stop. I'm saying, but Savon lost his head. Is it Jai that lost his yeah, headgear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah Jai was the first one on the spot, no he doubt. Was. Really good stop right there, yeah. a solid hit. Third and ten, guys. That's the most important thing here with 535 to go. Got to get off the field. Big defensive play here in this game with 532 and counting here in the running a guy on late, but nobody sets yet, so they can still do that. Langford shotgun snap. Gonna drop back to pass. And take and just throw it deep. Got him. Yep, no doubt about it. Called inside the 30 down the 28. Pretty sure their receiver caught a cramp there at the end of that play, but a beautifully thrown football. We didn't touch him. About 55 yards. Length for shotgun snap. Going to drop back to pass. And take and just mm. throw it deep. Got him. Ball's inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. We'll roll under five minutes to go here in the first half. We'll pell them leading 14 to nothing and driving again. Just a home run ball on third and 10. Man coverage, they run by our cornerback. He never touches it. Here's the quarterback, a little sidearm oh. pass, and then Dontarius knocks him out of bounds. For about a half-yard loss, 446 to go here in the first half. Wildcats trail 14 to nothing. He's got a, I tell you, this quarterback has a live arm. I mean, he mm -hmm. can throw from different slots just like that. He, 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 he was almost three yeah. quarter. It looked right. like a, looked like a shortstop flipping it over to a second base, trying about to turn double That's play. That's a little bit of a motion there, but. And off to that tail back on the right side, and he's going to pick up about six, maybe seven. Third down. Inside the 25, down to around the 23-yard line is where they'll put it. Picked up six, third down and four. 420 to go here in the first half. A little bit surprised, to be honest, that we haven't been able to move the football. All three timeouts left for both teams as this clock rolls down. May be of interest here shortly. Shotgun snap. Langford going to drop back, throw it out in the flat. He's what got a, a guy wide open. He fell down. Threw a high pass. It's the only thing that saved us. A miscommunication. Be fourth down and two coming up. Great play call there. Since we're in that zone, get our corner to to go with the post, run the out pattern down the sideline. We're out of the picture. Luckily, this one's thrown behind him. A really good job of going up and bringing that one in. But this is a huge play, Brett. Right outside the 20th, 21, fourth down and three. Big play for the Wildcats. We've had several of these and haven't been able to stop them. See if we can get one here, fourth down. It's just going to be him running. And, man, he, I don't think he got touched till he got to the 15. Uh, they're, Picked they're, up seven yards. They're they're blowing us off the line of scrimmage right now. Our, their offensive line is just really getting being physical. And that wasn't you he, said you said we didn't touch him. It's because our yep. defensive line was pushed back right. four or five yards. Yeah, he he got got that with ease. He could yeah. walk. He could have walked for that first down. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Wildcats uh, one of their poorest offensive performances of the year. No other way to spin it. Has a goose egg up on the on the scoreboard tonight. Shotgun snap for Langford. Langford's gonna throw it over the middle and he's wide open. Touchdown Panthers. It's old tight end dump. Fake the give up the middle. Stand straight up. And throw a strike right down the seam. A couple more yards, all it took to run it into the end zone. Take a 20 to nothing Pelham lead with 2.46 to go here in the first half. 
Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan with unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sales. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Something big is coming. Something so big, it'll change the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce. Because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. Expect it or not, the loss of a loved one is difficult. Put your family first by planning ahead. This is Joseph Dean, new owner of Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers. We are a full-service funeral home with an on-site crematory and cemetery. Whether your need is immediate or you would like to plan in advance, our experienced, compassionate staff can assist you in designing an enduring memorial experience, burial or cremation. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers on Highway 280 and Camp Hill or online, alabamafuneralhomes.com. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years. Federally insured by NCUA. Are you ready to get your lumberjack on? Check out Alex City's newest hobby, Nub Chuckers Axe Throwing. Nub Chuckers is excited to see you. Located at 120 Tallapoosa Street across from Strand Park. Call 256-392-4888 for reservations. So you want to build a home? Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash for granite countertops? Done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of? You got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. It's time for football, so get the playbook out and meet the lineup at KiaOfAuburn.com. Score a touchdown at your tailgate with the all-new Carnival MPV. Or check out the new 2022 Kia Sportage, the newest member of the Kia SUVs. Score more with style and performance in the K5 or Stinger. Selection, price, trade-in value. You always get it all at Kia of Auburn. Make the winning play and shop for a vehicle or book a service from home at KiaOfAuburn.com. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. This kicks up and a little better from Pelham, yeah. actually, but actually misses it left, even though he hits this one uh, bet, the best that he has the all night. was a lot uglier looking yeah. and made it. Both of them. So 20 to nothing. Pelham leads. 2.46 to go here in the first half. 
And you feel like Pelham's starting to get their sea legs under them offensively, which is a little scary. And um, we got to find something to make well, up the ground. Well, if you can't put more than 28 yards on the in the first half, we got to make up yeah, make up the ground. Even, it's We're not, not even getting the conversation. Football. Well, I think what y'all was talking about goes hand in hand. I mean, look, if we don't, if our offense doesn't stay on the field, our defense cannot stay on the field all 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 game it's just it's not going to work right now they're snapping the ball 29 times to our 15 so uh you know um we 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 need to get some type of momentum here going into halftime there's still plenty of time two minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the second quarter generate some type of momentum offensively let's put some type of points together before we go into that halftime Tell them to kick off again. Kicking right to left. Little pooch kick right here. Got a fall on it. Got a fall on it. I don't know. It's close. Right at the 30. Right down the middle. We were able to get on it at the last second. Whew. Right there. Oh, that, that at could, the 35 that, yard line, they went for the jugular. That could have with been two, a disaster. That would have been the jugular. That's what it would have been. Yeah. yeah. The 242 here in the first half. And I think you on know. their three kicks, that's what they've done at least twice. Is that same yeah, I look? I think they're trying to take away the chance of a busted play on special teams, and they're just trying to play it safe down the middle. It's worked so far. Shotgun formation, Gabe Benton. Got to get it going here offensively. Draw back to pass, under pressure. Got plenty of time. Got all day to throw it. Newt McKinney across the middle. 40-yard line, 45, trying to break a tackle. Broke out of there. He's dangerous in open field. 45 midfield. Gets Good on block. the far side and run out of bounds to 35, and that's a 15-yard penalty. Right there, it's going to add it on. So let's tack on. Let's start playing some football, guys. Quit spotting 20-point leads, and let's get into the ball game. That time, Gabe Ben had all day to throw the football. Offensive line did a good job, and he found Newt McKinney coming across, able to dump it off, and he did the rest. Gets it all the way down to the Pelham 35, and they'll tack 15 more on here. Be inside the red zone for the first time here tonight, down to the Pelham 19-yard line, trailing 20 to nothing, needing to put some points on the board here late, knowing that you get the football first in the second half. That's a key note here tonight if we can get things going offensively. Shotgun formation trips to the top. I know he likes four, but there's some dynamic playmakers out there. If they're putting two or three men on four, some other guys have to be open. Gabe Benton takes a snap, looks oh. to his left, dumps it under me to uh, Foster to the 15. He's taking what the defense gives you. Able to pick up about five, suck it down in five. A lot, of, a lot of it has been Foster here tonight, at least five receptions. We haven't gotten a lot of yards, but we've had to check down to Foster and hope that he makes some plays right. with his legs. Does pick up five, takes it down to the 14, rolls under two minutes to go here in the first half. Actually picked up six here. Second down and four. Gabe drops back, got all day to throw. He's got a man in the left side, wide open. He's got him wide open. He's gonna tuck and run now. Yeah. And he's in the end zone, touchdown. Touchdown Wildcats, Gabe Benton. Man, he had Demarcus McNeil over there out to practice early for about three or four seconds. Didn't think he saw him. At the last second, Gabe said, look, I'll just do it myself. Yeah, great recognition by the sophomore quarterback. Was looking for a little dig route, I think, in the middle part yeah. of the end zone. Couldn't find him. Those two safeties for Pelham are really playing well here tonight. Uh, can't find that, but a really good job by Gabe to pull it down. Rush that around the left end into the end zone for the touchdown. It's a 65-yard drive. Extra point up coming from Alsobrook. Got to get it through. Snap place. Kick is on the way. Kick's good. 21 to seven now, or 20 to seven rather, is your new TR group score. That looked a lot better, guys. Well, offensive line gave Gabe Benton all day and all night to throw the football, and that was a quick one. We'll come over to you, Coach, with the uh, Patterson truck. Drive recap. Yeah, make it easy on me. Three plays, 65 yards in about one minute um, uh, off the clock in that second quarter with 141 left to go in the game. Look here, I'm, I'm going to throw someone out there. Uh, I thought I saw DeMarcus McNeil. I don't know if you saw it or not, but on our big pass play, DeMarcus, the running back, is running down the sideline 
and actually blocks the corner and makes it go for at least 20 to 25 more yards than what it was. I mean, right. spectacular play by Newt right there. Really an effort play is what I call it, but I'm not going to leave DeMarcus out of that, man. When your running back is down there blocking for your receiver as a team player, those are winning football plays, and that's the stuff you got to have moving hey, forward. Three plays, 65 yards, security pest control, drive recap there. Wildcats on the board 20 to 7. Now 141 to go in the first half. Wildcats can play with this team. There's no doubt about it. Just got to execute. Gage got plenty of playmakers out there to get the ball to. And a little squibber down the middle here. It's going to hit, field it on a hop around the 16. Going to bring it out and a uh, big collision right there and brought down across the 36 up to the 37-yard line. So Wildcat defense comes out in a minute and a half. This is scary. Pelham gets the ball here with a minute and a half. 20 to 7, they lead it. But a big-time drive there, a quick one for the Wildcats. Took only three plays to get on the board. They have not had the ball very much offensively. Time of possession heavy in yeah. favor of the Panthers. Four wide, two to either side. Ball on the far hash, moving right to left. Langford in the shotgun formation. Wildcats with a four-man defensive front. And a handoff to that running back up the middle, and he's up to the 45-47. He's going to be a yard shy of a first down, and Pelham's going to burn a timeout, I believe. Be a, be a yard shy. So there's an A&M plumbing timeout on the field. We'll take one with them. 20 to 7, Panthers lead it. That's your TR group score. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. It's football time. Fall is in the air, and you have places to go and things to do. During Ram Power Days, your first stop is Tallahassee CDJR for your choice of the best new vehicles. See the all-new Jeep Cherokee L. It's here now at Tallahassee CDJR. Score big at your next tailgate with new 2021 Ram 1500s, now with 0% financing up to 72 months. Shop our wide selection of performance vehicles built for whatever you've got planned. Get in the game at Tallahassee CDJR. Drive a little, save a lot. At Russell Medical, our transitional care unit is a great alternative to nursing home care after a medical or surgical hospital stay. Transitional care increases strength and endurance through skilled nursing and therapy programs to promote a safe return home. Enjoy on-site therapy, private rooms, an activity center, and more. Call Russell Medical today to see if our transitional care unit is the right care for you. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at cacc.edu. EnviroCare is the standard in East Central Alabama for all your pest control and termite needs. EnviroCare exclusively offers Centricon termite colony elimination system that is the industry's most effective termite control to protect your home year round. The EnviroCare team's service is also the standard for our customers. From eliminating home pests to superior termite control, nobody cares like EnviroCare. Serving Lake Martin and East Central Alabama. From the smallest drippy faucet to drain cleaning to water heater replacement to gas lines to total systems replacement, AM Plumbing handles it all. Visit amplumbing.net today for the experienced, licensed, and insured pros at AM Plumbing. AM Plumbing, AM Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. Let me tell you about a barbecue place that's not just a barbecue place anymore. It's downtown Alexander City. It's Fire Truck Barbecue, where they have a meat and three. And when I say that, those vegetables, I'm talking about fresh vegetables, not out of the can. Now, they do a lot of catering, too. Don't you go by and see my buddy Kenneth Ledbetter and the whole crew and his lovely wife, Julie, at Fire Truck Barbecue, downtown Alexander City. 
Planning season is here and the Potting Shed Garden Center is happy to give you professional landscaping advice when it comes to planting your shrubs and trees. Auburn's best kept secret will have it all this fall. Mums, pansies, pumpkins, and much more. All an array of colors and sizes along with beautiful pots and containers, indoor plants, and a great selection of other gardening gifts. It's all at the Potting Shed Garden Shop where natural elements reign supreme. Located on the corner of Moore's Mill and Society Hill Road in Auburn. Hey, it's Brett Pritchard, and I'm here to tell you all about Sims Foods, who you know better as Wickles Pickles. Wickles Pickles, that 90-year-old recipe, wickedly delicious, relish, okra, and pickles. From Saturday sandwiches, tailgate snacks, to holiday dinners with your family and friends. From their family to yours, Wickles Pickles, those wickedly delicious pickles. Wickles Pickles, wickedly delicious pickles. Remember the good old days, RCs, moon pies, and your dream car? With my Demon, I got a 12-month warranty. With my Hyundai, it's 10 years. I got a great 10% interest rate on my loan. At Hyundai of Auburn, it's 0%. I was able to do my own maintenance. On my Hyundai, it's free scheduled maintenance for three years. Flat tire, full-size spare and a jack. At Hyundai of Auburn, free five-year roadside assistance. Well, I still like the RCs and the moon pies. Well, me too, but the best days are the Hyundais. Second down and one, 125 to go here in first half. And Pelham's a team that can score from about anywhere on the field. Langford in the shotgun, two to the top, two to the bottom. Ball up there on 46. Shotgun snap, Langford. Step, throw it. Oh, my goodness, almost a pick right there by Caden Hyde. He read it perfectly. If Caden picks that off, he's got a lot of grass down this near side. I'm not sure he would have scored, but it would have been close. Third and one here. Yeah, very smart play right there. He had 13 tackles last week. Had the game-winning tackle to close things out against Smith Station. Almost had a good chance actually a couple of weeks ago, but he almost had yeah. a real good chance right here to pick it off as he's already intercepted three passes this year. Third and one. Langford take it and throw the ball over. He dropped it. Pass is dropped, and sometimes you got to have a break. And if they choose to go for it, we'll have the ball here with 1.15 to go on the, the clock. It's about as easy as you can call a play here. It's called number 10 to the right. <laughs> and see if we can make a play up front to get in the backfield. We know exactly where this thing's going. Penetration. Are they going to? We okay, call good. a timeout. I think they're going to try probably to play the odds the here. Yeah, probably going to punt the football. I would. I would, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm up 20 to 7. Yeah. They know that we get the football to start the second half. Uh, not to say that they won't run the offense back out here, but I think the smart thing to do would be to, to punt it here if you're pelling. Hey, at least that's what I'm praying they do. <laughs> I'll say that. I, and a good note for us, we have all three timeouts left with a minute 15 to go. and. Uh, we can easily score a touchdown from anywhere on the field if we'll give Gabe plenty of time in the backfield right. to throw the football. A&M plumbing timeout on the field will stay here 20-7. to seven. Uh, They're going to punt the football. Yeah. So, better watch the fake. Yeah, watch the ball, too. We had a couple of times on punt return team. We've, we Smith Station, we've been drawn lost. off sides. Right. Yeah. Don't think that wasn't discussed just now. Yep. Fourth and one. Just hold your ground. Don't move. Wouldn't even worry about a rush. There's a snap. Not going to rush. He punts this one. And goes out of there bounds. Go. Not bad. I think it's going to give us good field position. Plenty of time. Clock. 107. This is a big opportunity to maybe hit a hitter here. Down. They're actually lucky there that. This one's called out of bounds at the 23. Right. I was hoping for a little bit more around the 30 to 35 yard I was line. too. I thought it may have gone out. Yeah, depending on the further. angle there. Right. I, I totally agree with you. And Hey, but look, we'll get the football with 107, see if we can get some plays downfield, have a shot at maybe a touchdown before the break. We do start the second half of the football. Wildcats here, shotgun snap. 
Going to run the draw play with DeMarcus in open field. Broke a tackle, 30. 35, made a man miss, 40. Cuts back in, 45, midfield. That's a huge play to get this drive started. Clock will stop with 56 seconds to go here in the first half. Great, great play call. Two broke tackles by DeMarcus McNeil. Gets it across midfield down to the 48. Yeah, solid running by the senior running backs. Picks up another 20 yards there. Wildcats with all three timeouts. 50 seconds to go. Shotgun snap. Going to roll the pocket to the right. He's got Nuke McKinney wide open. He's got a man right open down here. Oh, I think he was out. Step out. Gave yeah. two or three guys wide open. Well, and Nuke the, the across issue, the middle. They, they've got defenders that are about eight to nine yards in between. Your eyesight doesn't read that they're wide open right there. And he's yeah. moving around the corner. And he'd like to have this one back because he did have a little bit of a pass. But, Brett, the way that they're showing this, this isn't man defense. They got a lot of guys in the secondary that's between Gabe and the guy that we're trying to throw it to, and it makes it, it, makes it extremely difficult. Trips to the bottom, one to the top, second down and 10. 38 seconds to go. Shotgun snap, Gabe under pressure. Gabe broke a tackle, oh. gonna throw it past. He caught that football. and caught, I believe. He sure did. Clock what still running, catch. clock still rolling. 25 seconds. Timeouts. Yeah, maybe need to call one here. Got it down to the 38. Plenty of time. So able to pick up a first down. The Wildcats do spin an A&M Plum in timeout, 20 to seven. The Panthers lead. You know, two deep safeties. The one thing you're susceptible to is the middle of the field, Coach Coleman. And if uh, I was looking at Lawson on this bottom side, short side running a deep post, and I felt like he had the safety beat. And I think it's going to take somebody other than four or ten to get behind the defense here. But someone like Lawson, I don't even know if Foster, though, Brett, because I think they probably noticed that Foster's our guy that we're going to uh, key down to if we can't get it to yeah. four or ten. But let's see if yeah. Lawson can make a play. He's a playmaker, yeah. too, man. He's a good – he's a sure-handed kid. A lot of talent in this receiving core for the Wildcats, and they've been the, they've been the strong suit for this. Our offensive line is that not a first down? Much better, though, and I, th I thought it was at least a few yards ahead of the I think uh, Coach Blackwell was out on the, the numbers. I think they're going to measure for it here. Thought they would have done that anyway if I it's that close. I mean, I well, know that it. you got to stand out on the field and ask for a measurement. So uh, Coach Blackwell will take it, though. That just gives us a little bit more time to mm -hmm. kind of access the Did they put the some situation. time back on the clock there, 29? They may have. I think they did. You put a little bit more time back on the clock there. Yeah, it may be what they were doing instead and, of right. dealing with the. Okay, right at five seconds more. Good call, Brett. Yep. 20 to seven, Panthers on top. Yep. They, they're short. short. They're short. It is third down. So, but all three timeouts, they, 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 they signaled right. that we Had took to a, timeout. a timeout. Yeah, they just haven't taken it off the board yet. Not, not sure that was the best spot in the world, but, hey, the clock won't stop until we snap the football here. 29 seconds. 20-7, to seven, Pelham leads. Wildcats inside the 40 down to the 38. The handoff to DeMarcus. Uh, got first the first down. down. Clock will stop. Come on, man. Stop the clock. Two or three seconds. Rolling off. Got to get up to the line of scrimmage. Take the snap. There's. I'm not sure that was – got three – got two timeouts. Don't look at the board. There's two timeouts only. But we spiked the football there with 17 seconds. But you're in, you're in range to get several plays here down the field. Got the timeouts right, right. so you're yeah. right. You got two timeouts. Straight man across the board. Shotgun snap. They bring a blitz. We got Nuke McKinney at balls. He caught it at the 10, nice. at the five-yard line. There's a penalty flag back nice. here. It'll be a hold. Yeah, Trey knows it, too, pointing to himself. That ball came out of Gabe's hand. Ugly. I thought it wasn't going to make it. It was a wobbly pass. And Actually worked out well. Newt was able to get inside the defender who never saw the football. Bring this in it. Bring it in, it would have been inside the 10 down to about the five yard line. That one right there kills you. 
10 seconds to go, pretty much takes it out of your, your hands right here. It's been a lot of the struggle the second half last week and a majority of the first half here tonight. When you're so dependent on that passing game, you got to be able to hold them out, yeah. give your quarterback time to make plays. Well, they brought a blitz that time. Yeah, they brought the call. house and, mm -hmm. you know, just a, tried to hold him off as much as he could that he could deliver. And I think, I don't know, did that ball just come out of his hand or was his arm hit? I felt uh, like it came out of his hand. It came out of the he hand. He had to get rid of it quick. He did, uh, he did. Yeah, which is part of the issue. But Nuke made a good adjustment, as you said, cut back inside the defender. Wiped a uh, huge gain down to the five off. Not sure what we got. Uh, and in plumbing timeout on the field. We'll keep it here with 10.4 seconds to go. Hey. The first half. A lot of recognitions going on in between by David Sturdivant, our PA announcer for the military personnel that we have here tonight that were ex-Wildcats and glad to hear that on military night. Right. Have we had this before? I don't remember it. Hopefully it's the first of many. This may be it. Maybe some yards downfield and then a quick timeout to try to get a shot into the end zone. But Pelham McCall and AM Plum in timeout. We'll take a quick one with them. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Ten point four to go here in the first half. Wildcats get the football to start the second half. They have the ball at their own forty-four. Shotgun formation. Only going to rush three men. Drop everybody. Gabe's going to step up. Going to throw a pass down here. Pass call. Ah, he has got great hands. Corey Milner with 1.9 seconds, going to have to call a timeout. Complete down to 38. What a great catch. I, oh I didn't have a chance to really give that catch all its due. Wildcat's going to spin that last timeout, A&M plumbing timeout. But, hey, now you have a shot in the end zone. Yeah. 38 yards. And Wildcats have some dynamic playmakers. You can get the ball in the end zone, see if you can get one to catch uh, down there. And But that – catch by Corey to just get us to the 38. Phenomenal. Yeah, I don't even know if that was the actual play call. I would guess that it wasn't Coach Coleman and he saw that Gabe was moving around back there in the backfield, came back to the football yeah. and Gabe on the run to the right throws about a 20 yard out pattern and Corey has to extend full body toward the sideline to bring this one in, but I think it was also a heady play back there by him to come back for the football. Yeah, just two guys being on the same page. I mean, you can tell they've been thrown in around since the summertime. They're on the same page. They know each other, what they're thinking. Uh, kudos to them. I mean, a heck of a play there. Wildcats have just they're going to drop four, oh four men on the goal line, That's actually make it five. It's like looking out there and trying to play checkers. If you don't move your back row, how do you get in? Yeah, drop back to pass. Gabe, somehow, he's going to have some time to throw it. And he's going to run it, and that's not what you want him to do. Just ran the clock out, and we go to halftime with no shot to, to get in the end zone. So, Wildcats will go to the locker room down 20-7, to seven, set to get the ball to come out in the second half. We'll head to the Talapusa uh, Ford. Halftime show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Hello, I'm Karen Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher. Coupled with a deadbolt lock and a smoke alarm, 
that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. Are you looking to buy a home, but you're having second thoughts because you think it'll be a complicated process? Cross Country Mortgage, your local lender, will make everything smooth, easy, and stress-free for you. When you work with CCM, there are only six simple steps in the home buying process. Pre-approval, application, underwriting, conditional approval, final underwriting, and closing. That's all there is to it. Get started today with their online pre-approval application. Visit crosscountrymortgage.com slash auburn al 4307. We are Debt Relief Agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin Bankruptcy and Social Security Disability Attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator, Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Remember the good old days, RCs, moon pies, and your dream car? With my Demon, I got a 12-month warranty. With my Hyundai, it's 10 years. I got a great 10% interest rate on my loan. At Hyundai of Auburn, it's 0%. I was able to do my own maintenance. On my Hyundai, it's free scheduled maintenance for three years. Flat tire, full-size spare and a jack. At Hyundai of Auburn, free five-year roadside assistance. Well, I still like the RCs and the moon pies. Well, me too, but the best days are the Hyundais. Oh, well, yeah. well, congratulations. Well, well deserved, Coach. Um, I've known you a long time, and uh, anybody else that has knows that you are uh, uh, about as ingrained in Benjamin Russell as anybody that's ever come through here. Hey, I didn't know over 1,300 career victories between softball and volleyball. You know, that's me, a lot of wins. It is. I've uh, had been fortunate to have some great athletes and great kids and great parent support. Uh, it's funny, though, I didn't know it was that many wins either. Uh -huh. uh, Richie said, uh, what's your record? I was like, I have no clue. I didn't stuck with it. And so I had to go to the Outlook, and they, there's a place there called the Morgue. And if you didn't know this, they said it's where the old newspapers go to die. And really? And they're bound up. And, you know, if you search back through, a good old sports reporter wrote it somewhere in there and wrote your record. So How about that? You could search through and figure it out. Wow. That's <laughs> impressive. And, you know, uh, you're going to enjoy that rocking chair at home? I am. I absolutely. I've always wanted one. I hadn't had one. Well, now you do. Now it looks like one. a nice one. Yeah, I know. It looks like a real nice one, and I know your grandkids, and you'll have a, a lot of lot of good times in that rocking chair moving forward. Yeah, so. I think Richie was thinking I was going to get heavier, and so <laughs> it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> That's good. Hey, you <laughs> want a, room. You want a sturdy rocking chair, so uh, you'll have some uh, extra help there uh, sharing that chair with you. Well, Coach, I, I just want to say that, um, you know, you spent um, a, a lot of your career here at Benjamin Russell, and, uh, and I know this is a special place to you, and, uh, a lot of the, the former coaches that have come through, and you've been athletic director for a while, and I know uh, you're moving into the next phase of your life. Just talk about uh, taking that next step and what it's like to, to finally to finally hang the hat up. Well, you know, I have, I've had a difficulties hanging the hat up. It's fun getting up every morning and trying to figure out what you're going to do with the day, so that's nice. Right. Um, but they needed help with bowling, so I'm going to be the bowling coach. Are you going to be the bowling is. coach? I did not know that. Yeah, I'm so. going to be the bowling coach. and. Uh, well, that's good. Coach you, Johnson's taught me into, like, um, you know, for a couple of – ever since I quit uh, – not quit, quit something right. Yeah, that's Retired right. from volleyball. Uh, I've gone over during the summer and helped coach Whetstone with middle school. So okay. I always said at the end of my career I want to go back and coach middle school because wow. I think I really believe that middle school, like those youth coaches, right. can make the biggest impact oh, on a program. Like 
you know, in baseball, Richard Brooks can take them a long way, and football, Aubrey Blackwell can take them a long way if they've got more skills when they get to them. No doubt. Um, and so I think those middle school programs can just make a huge impact. So, oh, I, I totally agree. So I've gone over to do that, and I went to softball tryouts, and I'm kind of committed myself to help a little bit with middle school softball. Good for you. Um, just because it's fun. I, I tell the kids, it's like, it, for me, it's one of those things where I walk into the gym, I walk on the field, and all the other problems that might be going on in the world go away. Like, they go away for an hour and a half, two hours. And, uh, I, I don't guess I like you. That. I don't guess you ever stop being a coach. Once you're a coach, you're, you're always a coach in some form or fashion. And yeah. you know, like you said, I may be retired, but you you, you find your way back. And you know, yeah. whether it be bowling or helping with middle school volleyball or whatever. Uh, uh, coach, I want to go all the way back to when when it started for you. Uh, what what got you into coaching? I mean, what got you into I mean, really being a pioneer for women's athletics here uh, at Benjamin Russell, I know you you, you took the, the team from slow pitch to fast pitch, and we, we talked about all that. We heard about all that uh, in your ceremony uh, at the beginning of the game. But what, what, what got you into coaching, and who was a mentor for you? Well, a long time ago, I, coached, I had the opportunity to coach an all-star team out at the Russell Leagues, the Russell Leagues. And I enjoyed it. And then, you know, and I didn't, they didn't have sports when I was in school. Uh, if you wanted to play, if you wanted to be something when I was in school at Realtown, I graduated in 1975 from Realtown, you could be in the band or you could be a cheerleader. So I was a cheerleader. Okay. And, but I wanted to play sports. I, I wanted to play basketball, to tell you the truth. And, um, so no girls basketball in 1975? Not in Realtown, Alabama. Wow, wow. And so, uh, I played on women's travel teams and then got into the women's travel at Russell. And I mean, took me all kind of places in softball. And when I finally decided to get back into school and get and finish my degree, uh, I uh, got an opportunity to, uh, at Goodwater, Robert Armour, bless his heart. Um, when, I, when I got to his school to ask about a job, he, he said, uh, he, he, he already knew all about me. He had already talked to, Benjamin Russell, where I'd intern, and then he said, uh, he said, well, I've, I've got this science opening, and I've got a basketball coach. I need a basketball coach, and so I'm like, I could do it. You know, if he'd have told me, I need you to clean the toilets every day, I'd have said, I can do it. I can do it. I wanted a job. I had worked full time and went to school full time, and so I'm like, I want a job. I want to do one I'm job. Ready to get after it. And you know, when I said one job, that I didn't know that it was going. <laughs> Bunch of jobs. Yeah, that, there's a lot. Uh, there's a caveat to that. But then so. I started coaching softball there. The kids wanted a team, and we didn't have a team. And Joe Ballou, we had a Hall of Fame Joe. Oh, absolutely. Said, well, if they want a team and you're willing to coach it, we don't have any money for it. But if you're willing to coach it, we'll get you the stuff you need. And so I was like, I'll do it. So I coached wow. softball for free. And we had just, it might have been one of the most enjoyable years of coaching that I've ever had, to tell you. The and story. that was back when? That was back 1980. Well, actually, the spring of 88. Spring of 88. So, uh, you know, that's right around the time this stadium was built, you know, here in, in, <laughs> yeah. in you know, and again, but a staple of moving from Hamp Line over to here. That was some big years for, for Alexander City, mm -hmm. too. And then, then you make your way over to uh, Benjamin Russell, and uh, this is where you spent majority of your career. And uh, I know you, uh, you, like you said, you've had some really good players, and you've oh, yes. been around some really good teams. And, uh, you know, I know you're you're a fan of all sports, not just yes. the sports that you coach, but you've been a you've been a fan of every sport at Benjamin Russell, and I know absolutely. you're proud to, of of the accomplishments that we've had over the last 30 years here. Oh, absolutely. That's uh, one of the fun things about getting involved. I mean, your kids play other things, or your your kids that you coach. Early on, I knew. Hey, you know, find out what these kids are doing. Like, first thing, introduce me, introduce yourself to me. Tell me what you're involved in. And then I would, I would always ask, hey, what number are you? Tell me what number are you so I can look you up when I go to the game. And then I'd watch for them because it helps you in the classroom. It lets them know you care about them other than just a student in right. that seat. And, uh, but I also enjoy watching all sports. So That's right. That's right. Well, well Coach, I tell you what, uh, you know, it's been – it's been great having. I know. Again, you're not you're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. You're going to be around the program. You're still going to contribute and help. But uh, let me just say again, congratulations on a on a wonderful career. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, you know would love to look back on their their career and whatever prof whatever profession or field that they chose. Uh, 
uh, and, and have the success that you had and, and to be a part of, you know, the number of, of young people's lives that, that, that you've been around. And that's one of the things that all of us in education, uh, that's, that's the rewarding part. I know it is for me and I know it is for you. Seeing your players and seeing your students move on to do big things and have families and come back and all that. But, uh, Coach, you've been a part of uh, a lot of people's lives, and I know you'll continue to do that. And uh, much appreciative for your years of service here at Benjamin Russell. This is your day today, uh, <laughs> Pam Robinson Day here in Alexander City. And, uh, Coach, uh, nobody's more deserving. Well, I appreciate it. And I'd also I have to give a shout-out to all my assistant coaches that I've had over the years, too. I've, I've talked about my parents and my players, but, you know, I've been lucky to have some really good people right. and good coaches that help me because you don't do any of this by yourself. Like, no. you know, football team, to be successful, you got to have a lot of good coaches oh, yeah. uh, behind you. It takes you. a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts, and, and I had a great family, too, a great husband that supported and I'll give Jeff a shout-out Yeah, that, he, so. he did a good job. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did. I like Jeff a lot. A lot Jeff, Jeff's a great person. And, look, you know, I know, uh, you know, every male coach, Coach says, look, I got a good wife mm -hmm. behind me, and every uh, female coach says, I got a good husband behind me, and I know you, you're blessed to have Jeff. I am. He was actually my first uh, great assistant, too, because he and I coached that first Goodwater team together. That? Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Was, That's great. Well, Coach, thank you so much for coming up, right. and, uh, again, congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thanks so much. That's All Coach right. Pam Robinson uh, here uh, being honored tonight, and uh, uh, this day belongs to her. She uh, had an official proclamation as the uh, Pam Robinson Day here in Alexander City. We're going to take a break here on the Tapusa Ford Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll get you set for the second half. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. It's football time. Fall is in the air, and you have places to go and things to do. During Ram Power Days, your first stop is Tallahassee CDJR for your choice of the best new vehicles. See the all-new Jeep Cherokee L. It's here now at Tallahassee CDJR. Score big at your next tailgate with new 2021 Ram 1500s, now with 0% financing up to 72 months. Shop our wide selection of performance vehicles built for whatever you've got planned. Get in the game at Tallahassee CDJR. Drive a little, save a lot. Sometimes you just want a good old juicy steak. That's what you get every time at Scooter's Grill and Apple. They don't just do a good steak. You can pick the flavor like you like. Buttery garlic ribeyes, bourbon ribeye, or blackened. That's not all you'll get. You'll get the fried catfish, burgers, wings, and fingers are always the best anywhere around. That's at Scooter's Grill. They'll have you coming back for more, more, more. Good eating, good people, good times. at Scooter's Grill in Hattonable. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238, and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Now is the best time to sell your current home, as it's a seller's market, meaning that on average you can get up to 96% of your asking price. Who is the most aggressive and most experienced to help you sell your home? Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20 mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor but you didn't have a, a ride? But well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this, it's public transportation. Their number to call is 256-329-84. 44. 
Lake Martin has a new car buying experience. It's the TR Group of Alex City on Cherokee Road. The TR Group has up to 100 late model vehicles to choose from and will not be beat on price, selection, or financing. With the TR Group, your selection and quality is easy and your good credit is rewarded. But we offer guaranteed financing on our inventory because your future is more important than your past. The TR Group, Lake Martin's new standard in auto sales. Located at 814 Cherokee Road, Alex City, USA. Getting ready for the second half. State Farm Insurance, Karen Chanel kickoff is going to be a squibber. Going to go all the way down to the five and oh. to the one, and they're going to have to pick it up and bring it out. That is a disaster. Gosh. You couldn't have placed that one any better. That was a disastrous start. Real quick, eighth grade gets the win, 19-14 over Wetumpka Good. tonight. So uh, eighth grade now, two, two wins in a row. Good, good talent of group coming up this way next year for uh, the Wildcats. See if the Wildcats can uh, – Ty did a good job getting that out to the 12, yes. I'll be honest with you. That ball rolled dead at the one. Need to move the football. Down 20 to 7. A drive here would really be huge to start this second half. Gabe Benton in the shotgun formation, ball in the far hash. Play action, going to roll the pocket under pressure, take it and dump it back to Corey Milner. He caught it. He definitely caught it up here around the 21-22 yard line. Boy, he snagged that right before it went off the ground. And I can't explain how difficult of a catch that was to turn around and really pick it up with his fingertips. Showing the draw back to the left, rolling the pocket to the right. Gabe trying to give Corey enough time as he has a little sit-down route. About eight or ten yards up the field. Um, if he had this a guy right on his back. Yeah, if this one's up a little bit, Corey has a lot of running room as well. But we'll take the eight yards, sets up second and two. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Shotgun formation. And off. There's a good hole right there. DeMarcus with a first down up to the 25. And pushed back there. But going to pick up about four and a half, five yards. Never taken down, but found that little seam, made a side move and uh, able to pick up a UAB Cardiology Associates first down. I'll tell you one thing, you're not in a rush to put this Pelham offense back out there on the field. We're, we're down 20 to seven. If you can uh, string together a six, seven, eight minute drive to start this second half, it'd be exactly what the doctor ordered, Coach Coleman. Trips to the top, one down to the bottom. Shotgun formation. Demarcus McNeil beside him to his right. Takes the snap, looks right, now looks left under pressure. And Gabe I think saw it coming and then just hung in there a little bit too long. And just keeping everything in front of them in the secondary. They got two deep safeties. They got uh, the two middle guys that are sitting eight, nine yards off, just nowhere to go with the football. He's Wasted. looking out and uh, probably needing to get rid of it, but takes that seven-yard loss, second down. They'll call it 16 on the board as we start this second half. Trips to the top, one to the bottom. Five seconds on the play clock. Shotgun snap, gonna roll the pocket to the left. Well, they are well set up. He's got a man wide open. He found him down here at midfield and the pass ball interference. And knocked away. Man, I don't know if it was. He had a man <laughs> wide open and he didn't see him. Yeah, that's Lawson streaking down that left sideline. Comes open late. Passes oh, underthrown. Man. He is so wide open. You know, the one thing that goes for the Pelham defender here, Coach Coleman, is he's playing the football. He's got yeah. his head turned True. back. He's going for the interception, the same, and um, probably a good call back there from yeah. the officials. If he doesn't have his head turned, this is definitely a penalty. Yeah. Third down and 16 from the 18. That was a big hitter opportunity right there for sure. Well, they are disguising coverage. It's very That's good. a false yeah. start. And their timing's outstanding. They're going to call a timeout. And, does, and showing, and, and we may have to change that up a little bit in our cadence. Um, and when we're getting this ball snapped, because it's tough to time it as well as they are. They've got to have a really, a really good idea <clears throat> of when we're going to snap the football back there. Because they're changing up. We show a man down here. You and I, Coach Coleman, we're looking down here and saying that we like the matchup with McKinney matched up with number four and man-to-man. -man. 
and they had the, the deep safety rolled over outside inside the hash mark. Yeah. And before the snap, they rolled the safety back over to give over the top look. And uh, we would have ended up throwing the ball on a deep go route right on top of a safety that's looking back at the football. So yeah. it's it's much different than we've seen all year back there in the secondary. Yeah, they're, look, Pel I give Pelham some credit. Their scheme's working. They're really well coached. They're on time with a lot of stuff. But, um, look, we got the quarterback that can that, that can do it back there. We just give him enough time so he can survey the field. He's going to have to be one of these where he, he might have to look down at his second and third check after he gets that initial look on his, on his primary receiver. Third down and 16. Trips to the top, one to the bottom. Low snap. Middle. Dave step up, throw a pass. Wide open at 45. Corey made a man miss. Kicks it outside midfield, 45. And then runs out of bounds to 40. What a great play. Offensive line did a good job there. Gabe actually sidestepped a defender to able to step up and make a huge play downfield. Big connection to Corey Milner in a first down inside Pelham territory. Which gave him the time, Brett, to uh, find that dig route, and he is just sitting there wide, wide open, open for uh, six, eight seconds. And great job by Gabe rolling the pocket to the left, throwing back across his body and throwing a strike. Pick up on third and 16, big play. Shotgun snap, going to drop back to pass, got all day. And just going to dump it, give him what the defense tastes. And um, Corey, uh, excuse me, Chris Foster out of bounds at the 30. So picked up eight yards there. It's easy to watch Chris out there playing football and realize why he's so good in basketball. No uh, doubt. He's got quick motions when he's got the football in his hands. I'm glad those hips are back right for him because he needs those things right. And uh, But he's been a, a good secondary target tonight oh, yeah. for Gabe. Trips to the bottom, excuse me, second four to 32, not to 30. Fake that draw, going to dump it. He's got his oh, man God. right there. It's uh, Chris oh. stumbling down to the 21-yard line. Chris Foster kind of jumps up in the air. Gabe on one leg kind of lost it over the middle. It was a little bit of a dangerous throw, but Chris able to snag it out of the air, pick up a first down, compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates down to the 30, excuse me, down to the 22-yard line. And Chris holds that balance. He probably walks into the left side of the end zone. So dynamic. Well, like with you football said, Randy, a good drive going here. Sure. Clock under nine minutes here. Wildcats on the move. Here's the blitz. Going to swing it out. DeMarcus better get on the ball. Good play call. call it though. incomplete. It was a little bit high. Marcus, uh, good in open field like that. Uh, second down and 10. 8.50 to go here in the third quarter. Wildcats down 20 to 7. Perfect situation here as the Wildcats took the opening drive, this opening drive from their own 12. Now have it on the Panther 22. Trips to the bottom, one up to the top. Ball on the far hash, moving left to right. Shotgun snap for Gabe Benton. Going to drop back, steps up in the pocket. has got Corey Milner at the 10, down to the eight yard line. It's first and goal. That time, a three step drop and a fire across the middle to Corey Milner. And the Wildcats have it first and goal. Well, it's where you're susceptible when you got two deep safeties yep. in the middle of the field. And, uh, those are the issues that we're exposing right now. And uh, finding number four open going across that middle is going to continue to be a strong suit here in the second half. Trips to the top. One down here to the bottom is McKinney. Here's a blitz, and they're all sides. Half the distance to the goal, go down to the four. So first and goal now from the four. Now everything's on the now everything's on the table as far as what you want to do. First and goal at the four. And you know this is a part of the offense that we've been working on extremely hard. We've struggled second in, half of the season yeah. because it has not been a strength. But I thought we were a little better yeah. last week at times. And a lot of that was Gabe Benton using his legs down here, which I like. First and goal to four. And off to Marcus, found the seam. He's going to walk in. Touchdown, Wildcats. Right side, nobody touched him. And the Wildcats closed the gap. It's 20 to 13. Had his moments here in the football game where he's been able to get back in the secondary. And when he has, running the football extremely hard. Really good job of blocking on the right side of the front for the Wildcats there as that hole opens up. Just what the doctor ordered. 
Four minutes off the clock, gets the Wildcats to chip this one down to a one-score game. Also Brook on for the extra point. There's the snap. The kick is on the way. Kick's good. All right. Gills Auto Sales in Opelika has 250 pre-owned and low mileage cars, trucks, and SUVs. Each with low down payments and low monthly payments. Good credit or bad credit, it doesn't matter. Get pre-approved in seconds with no effect on your credit score. Instant decision with no date of birth or social security number needed. The largest selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs can be found at Gills Auto Sales. 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika or at GillsOnline.com. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, voters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritons, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last, Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon, and I would like to introduce you to our new agency, Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group. At Cornerstone, we will shop dozens of top-rated companies to find you the best coverage at the best price. So whether it's your home, auto, business, or life insurance, we have a plan that's designed for you. Same location, same great service. Give us a call today, 256-409-2299. Patterson Air Inc. has been serving the Lake Martin area for 36 years. Patterson Air Inc. is available every day, including this weekend, so you don't have to suffer in the Alabama heat. Patterson Air Inc. is proud to be an American Standard dealer. American Standard heating and air conditioning systems are energy efficient, reliable, and built to last, and they have every size in stock. Call Patterson Air Inc. now, your most trusted heating and air company on Lake Martin, 334-850-3500. Schedule your appointment now, Patterson Air Inc., certification number 89012. Main Street Family Care is now offering COVID-19 vaccinations to eligible patients at all clinics seven days a week. At this time, COVID-19 vaccines are available to healthcare workers who meet certain criteria. Vaccine criteria and an interest form for those who are currently ineligible for the vaccine can be found at www.mainstreetfamilycare.com slash COVID-19 vaccine. General's Cafe, Highway 22 in New South Alabama is ready for you to come see them today. Meet and three on Sundays only. If you've never had their meet and three, you ought to your whole family to take them up there. And also specials each and every day. Let's talk catering, because that's something they do a lot of for all different size events. 234-2121, General's Cafe, 256-234-2121. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Twenty to fourteen with eight minutes to go here in the third quarter, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered as the Wildcats took the opening possession of the third quarter and went 88 yards. I'll kick it over to you, Coach Coleman, for the security pest control drive recap. Yeah, 11 plays, 88 yards, four minutes off the clock. Wow. Just what the doctor ordered. I think Randy said it right right when we got the ball. Man, we would love to have a four, five, six, seven minute drive, keeping that offense of Pelham's off the field, get some points, exactly what the doctor ordered coming out of halftime for the Wildcats. Randy, third and 16. You make a play to keep the, the, the drive alive. And you know, Gabe sidesteps a defender long, and gives himself long enough for Corey to sit down in the middle of the field. That's what propelled the drive. Well, let's tip your hat to J.D. Adkins and that offensive coaching staff for finding some holes in this defense. They've confused Wes and I, and uh, 
I don't know all about secondary play, but I know more about secondary play than I do anything else. And I can tell you they've disguised coverages extremely well in the secondary tonight. But we have found where the weakness is, and it's in the middle part yep. of that defense. And if we can have Gabe Benton, who's really good using his legs, and he seems to be getting better as the season moves on, to buy himself a little time. Number four is your guy, Brett. Four's yeah. got to have big games every night for us to win. 14 unanswered for the Wildcats. How about that? Yeah. It's 20 to 14. Also broke on. A little squiver, not quite an onside, but down to the 35. And then oh, tackling right there at the 45. So short field. A lot going on with our school system tonight on Thursday night. Eighth grade wins 19 to 14 for their second consecutive victory as they take down Wetumpka. Just had an update from our 12U group and 10U groups over in Sylacauga tonight. 12U won 22 to nothing as they moved to 4-0. and So uh, a great job and that, that's what it's going to take, boys. Continuing to win some of these lower groups to get them up here. Langford back on the field with the Pelham offense at their 47. Langford going to hand off up the middle, and boy, he is belted. Driven back, big defensive play. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10. Uh, Gavin Vickers, and Gavin beats the left guard off the snap, gets across his face mask. Once he gets in the backfield, keeps those legs driving, gets him down to the ground. We'll see if they call it no gain or a loss on the play, Brett. 7.29 to go here in the third. Wildcats trail 20 to 14, but it's 14 unanswered. Big, big defensive play here, possession. Um, forced the Panthers to punt from this part of the field earlier in the game. Two backs beside Langford. He's going to hand off to the big fullback over there, and he's hit right at midfield. There's a penalty flag coming in. Is this a face mask? Playing physical right there, too. Actually sticking a headgear in the chest and somebody going backwards when we hit them. I'm going to... I'm going to try to make a preliminary, preliminary call, but we'll see what the call is. A flag comes flying in from the far sideline. Zy Owens, Josh Watson. They're going to say it's holding on. No, it's on, it's on the Wildcats. Face mask, is that what yeah, they called? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I had a feeling that's what it would be. 15. And that one's... Devastating right there to the 34. Seven oh one to go in the third quarter. Wildcats down 20 to 14. They spotted them 20 to start the game. Come back with 14 of their own. Shotgun snap. Quarterback's going to hand off. Oh, they took a shot, but not wrapping up. Bouncing off, getting inside the 30. So. Four or five yards of carry uh, on the ground right now for Pelham. A little mini Mike back there at running back. Maybe five, 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 six. Probably got 165, 170 pounds on him, though, and bounces off a tackler and gets it ahead for six yards after contact. All of those were after contact as we'll roll under 6.30 to go here in the third. 20 to 14 Pelham leads, actually 6.20 and counting. Staying in four wide. Shotgun snap coming up for Langford. Back beside him to the right. Going to get the handoff this time. Trying to power his way down to the 25-yard line. Not going to get the first down. We're going to be just short. And somebody's down to help him up. <clears throat> Savon Spradley and Jai Hicks come up off the bottom of the pile. We do stop them about a half yard short, I believe, of that first down, maybe even a full yard short as the ball is going to be placed at the 26-yard line. Gavin Vickers back into the ball game, 537 to go here in the third. Big play in the football game. They got third and three on the board. It's more like third and a yard and a half. Yeah, don't look at that. Shotgun snap, going to get him. Gavin had him, and he broke out of it. What a run. And got to the first down. And you don't break Gavin Vickers' tackles very often. It is going to be fourth down, though. It'll be fourth, and it may be a half yard yeah. short as our angle's a little tough up here. But Gavin, again, beating that offensive lineman in front of him off the ball, being back in the backfield right off the snap. 
holds on for dear life. Here's a penalty flag coming in. It's one of these sideline warnings. What is this call? Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Wildcats down 20 to 14. <clears throat> Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Wildcats. I, I think that was I, called on our on someone standing on the sideline. <clears throat> I'm not sure the. No, I, I think it's a player. <clears throat> but the. Uh, Official back here down the sideline through the, the flag. And trying to find out what, what the call was. An unsportsmanlike conduct on fourth and one will give them a first down. That's a that's a horrible call. Way behind the play, too. Right. Sideline official nice. that's not on the ball, 15 yards down the field. Give this I, I, call. I have no idea what it could have been other than something somebody said. <clears throat> I don't know what could have been said. I mean, it was fourth down and one. This was still going to talk about this. I don't know. Head official going to come over now, but Pelham pretty much with a first down. Inside the Wildcat 15 with five minutes to go in the third. Coach Blackles. Pretty upset about uh, whatever that explanation was. It looked like to me he wanted to get. Uh-oh. There's another one. I mean, this is. I, they, 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 you know. I don't know what's being said, but sometimes as an official, you just need to, your best to walk away. Two 15 yarders going against <clears throat> us. Well, this one will be half the distance, so it'll be from wherever the ball is. Not sure if the first one was called on our defensive back. Secondary? I don't think so. It was called uh, down was, here. I think it was called on the sideline. I think, it was, then, I think but it was, it was from the, the the back judge over here, not the true back. Which is judge. the odd thing because I, I can I keep watching. I'm not going to throw a number out there, but I, I keep watching our corner on this side, and he's extremely upset. I, I'd like the call could have been with him. Yeah. But we'll catch up and, and find out exactly what happened. But that's not. Not what you need whatsoever. Well, 30 yards worth of penalties to put the football down inside the 10 down to the 6. And at home for that. I will throw that out there. Yeah, no, yeah. Kid. no yeah, kidding. No kidding. Shotgun snap. Ball on the ground. ground. He fell oh, on it back here at the 10. Gosh. Wow. Fumbled snap back here at the 10, and they were able to land on it. I don't, I don't blame us for fighting for – Whatever. I mean, I understand the first one. and We need a couple of those to go our way. Bro. Right. We, we felt like that anyway. Disregard the penalties. Right. We need some We need, we need some, a play. Yeah, we need, we need some a, turnovers. Right. Need a turnover. Second goal from the 10. Shotgun snap. Going to pull it. Going to roll the pocket Savon. over there. That's holding in the backfield. This Great is going to be holding on. This is going to be holding against uh, Pelham, I believe. And it is. So back him up a little bit further. And Savon makes <clears> his play. Look, if the quarterback has an opening down that right sideline and can use his legs, which is probably what he wanted to do, he ends up throwing the ball to the back, end, back line of the end zone looking for someone crossing. Uh, but I'm a lot more worried about him using his legs, Coach Coleman, than I am with him finding somebody open in the end zone throwing the football. Right. And Savon Spradley did an outstanding job right there of recognizing that and getting a, a good hit on him on the sideline. Yeah, we talked about the angle, right? If you, yes. He, he, made it, he made it an exceptional angle. He was there. He was in position to make the play. And 
Um, and, and look, say, and Saban has been about as, as solid as you can. Second goal at the 23. Langford, shotgun formation. A little step up. Going to roll out to the right. Nowhere to go with the football. Look. Back to his left now. Going to take it, shove it in the end zone. He got a man wide open. Uh -huh. That's where it's tough, boys. And there's a penalty flag going to be a holding it's call. And he could have gone multiple oh, times. And, and there's a penalty. And he took his helmet off, and that's 15. This one's falling apart for Pelham. So they're about to have 25 yards of penalties, and their coach is not happy with their offensive line at all. He, he knew he was wrong. Coach got on to him. So not only is it going to be a hold against Pelham, it's going to be a personal foul, unsportsmanlike conduct for taking your headgear off. So this is a – And you want to talk about an impossibility defending in the secondary that long. Yeah. You have no oh, idea. No, no, After you, seven or eight seconds, those guys are running this around. Back, it's back hard, it's just back hard football at that point. Great throw right there. And that's the scary thing about the quarterback for Pelham. And uh, he, he is really good with that arm. Watch coach. this mark off, guys. What is this? I don't know. That's man. what he called. It was like some type of. Dude, he. It was, was head-to-head? Head head to head? That's got to be what head that head? is. Head-to-head. Head. He headbutt him? Yeah, I guess. It is first. It is second and goal. I don't know if I've ever said this in my career. Second and goal from their own 47. Yeah, we, we, we had one. <laughs> I, you're right. <laughs> No, we did. We had a third. It wasn't goal. It wasn't no. goal to go. No, it but wasn't. But it was. It was close. It was 47. <laughs> it was close. We've had about it was 80 third yards. 47 from our own three, I think. Yeah. About 80 yards of penalties on this drive alone. For both teams. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Second and 53. <laughs> Second and 53. Trips to the top and draw back. Pump fake. Got a guy going downfield and really don't have anywhere to go with the ball. Oh Nowhere God. to go. Take it, dump it. He got a man at the 30. Now we got to put pressure on him. I know we got three defenders not wanting to let him. I think they're afraid the of him running out. the ball down the field. He's but, scary in open field running. Uh, he's scary if you give him 25 seconds back there with that arm too. It's hard to hard to make a decision. Yeah, they get it down to the 25. So he get half. Not up. an easy pass right there, and uh, it's on the line, buddy. He's. <clears throat> this is a big play right here. It's third down and 25, goal to go. They cannot pick up a first down. They got to get in the end zone. We also need to keep them out of field goal range. Right. Shotgun snap. Dropping back. That's a hold right there. Going to get loose finally. Take it, throw it in the end zone. He's throwing that out of bounds. Good defense, though, by the Wildcats. That should have been a hold. And I think they called it. I think they did call the hold right down here. Let's see what the call is. They had, I mean, he had him mashed it. He had him just pulled down. So I don't know if I don't decline this holding penalty. No it ineligible is, receiver okay, down the yeah, field. He, yeah, right. So it was fourth down and goal from the 25. Would be a 42 yard field goal attempt and the leg from Pelham doesn't. Well, they got to go to the end zone here. So, anything short of the goal line's a victory. Back them up. Three man rushing. He's going to drop back to pass. Try to get in there. Oh, Nowhere please. to go with it. Oh, Incomplete. gosh. Well, we got lucky there. Incomplete in the back of the end zone. Wildcats hold, though, guys. Yep. They hold, and they get the ball back with 149 to go here in the third. What a great, great job by the Wildcats as Pelham had the ball first and goal inside the five. Now let's see if we can continue this offense that we've seen the, the previous quarter and a half. Corey Milliner has really got it going. And, uh, you know, the good thing there is our offense off the field quite some time, Coach Coleman, should should have our win back. Uh, yeah, they were Minute 49, the they took – Six minutes and 11 seconds off the and clock got on that drive and got nothing for uh, it. Let's see if we keep attacking the middle of the field. Gabe yeah, Benton going to hand off to DeMarcus. Found a seam in the middle. 35, 40, 45, up to the 47-yard line. And Trace McCaleb destroyed one of their defensive linemen. Back here around the left side, but DeMarcus McNeil straight up the gut. 
to the 46 yard line. New set of downs, compliments to UAB Cardiology Associates. Hurrying up to the line of scrimmage, 132 to go here in the third. Trips down here to the bottom, one to the top. Here comes a blitz. Play action. Gabe gonna roll out to his right. Waste it. That's a good job. Yes. Looking for Corey Milner. Sometimes you just live to play another day. Just get rid of it. We've shown that play three times here tonight. Worked a couple of times. Better job in the secondary by Pelham to read that fake to DeMarcus off the left side, roll the pocket, and they pick up four that time, Coach Coleman. Still live to play another one. Second down and 10, ball is moved out to the Wildcat 46. One to the top, three down to the bottom. Gabe, shotgun, snap. Step up inside, now he's gonna take off and run. Good to see. Midfield, down inside Pelham territory to around the 46. So it'll be third down and short coming up. Third and about three for the Wildcats. They need the 45. We'll roll under a minute to go here in the third on this snap. 20 to 14, Wildcats trail. But have again moved the football past the midfield stripe down to the Pelham 48. Actually, it's more like a third and four. Hard snap count, now gonna change the play. Need across the 45, almost to the 44 for a first down. Hey, Benton will take the snap here. Looks. Pump fake, he's got Corey Milner, he went up and caught it. What a catch. Right there at the 35, what a great catch. Whew. Corey Milner snags it out of the air and they move the chains. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates with 31 seconds to go here in the third quarter. What about the throw, boys? I know it's a tremendous catch, but that's a heck of a pass by our sophomore quarterback right there. They're gonna let the time run out, I think. Well, there's a penalty flag on the far side. So let's, let's take a look at this. Sideline unsportsmanlike conduct against Pelham. So this will get 15, 15 more yards for the Wildcats, and they'll move it on down the field and to the 20. It gave through it to a window he did. On, on, on that one. But, look, I, I'm with you. Great pass, but Corey knew the safety was about to hit him yep. right, in, right in the ribs. But, man, he, he looked, hung on. He looked the ball in. He never, he never faltered, and, and he, he did what he was supposed to do to make a play. Hey, Look, Just good play all the way around. I'm going to tip my hat. Let me say this. I don't know what the drive will end. The Pelham started this game with 20 points. They, yeah. hadn't, they hadn't sniffed it since. Yeah. They drove down comp, help, with help of 30 yards of penalties, Randy, but then they kind of had it fall apart on them. Well, I mean, we're midway through the second. We don't have but 35 yards of offense. And then, you know, that was the issue, and you kept calling it, and you're exactly right, as this one now moves down to the Pelham 21-yard line where it'll be first and 10. 27.4 and the clock will their roll. Defense, their defense has to be gassed. First down and 10 at the 21. We're gonna have to snap it. The play clock's at 14. About a two second differential play clock and game clock. Oh, oh gosh. That was a, they didn't call it, yeah they did. <clears throat> I was about to say, if they didn't call that, he's gonna catch out one as wide open as anybody's ever called. There's one. about to be another I was just as arena league. <laughs> Chris Foster got started a little bit too soon. That's okay. Yeah. Um, probably clock will run out now. And you go to the fourth quarter. Yep. They'll just choose to let it run out. And we'll head to the fourth, down six, 20 to 14. Wildcats trail, but they're on the move. Have the ball inside the Pelham 30 at 26. We'll take a break. We'll come back. One quarter left to play. Big region matchup here. Playoffs on the line for the Wildcats. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Lake Martin has a new car buying experience. It's the TR Group of Alex City on Cherokee Road. The TR Group has up to 100 late model vehicles to choose from and will not be beat on price, selection, or financing. With the TR Group, your selection and quality is easy and your good credit is rewarded. But we offer guaranteed financing on our inventory because your future is more important than your past. The TR Group, Lake Martin's new standard in auto sales. Located at 814 Cherokee Road, Alex City, USA. Expect it or not, the loss of a loved one is difficult. Put your family first by planning ahead. This is Joseph Dean, new owner of Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers. We are a full-service funeral home with an on-site crematory and cemetery. Whether your need is immediate or you would like to plan in advance, our experienced, compassionate staff can assist you in designing an enduring memorial experience. 
burial, or cremation. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers on Highway 280 and Camp Hill or online, alabamafuneralhomes.com. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than Who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years. Federally insured by NCUA. Folks, she's what's on Davil Road in Alexander City is always making improvements, making it bigger, like making their pellet ice a 10-pound bag for $2. How about their biscuits? Have you tried their biscuits with regular cheese or hoop cheese with sausage and ham and salmon? Oh, and throw an egg on there and you got a happy person. And don't forget about they have propane and wood. That's Foshi's Watts, Davil Road, Alex City. Morris and Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City are proud members of our community. Our team of dedicated employees live, work, and support in our local communities, and we are all actively engaged in our hometowns. Just like all area players, parents, and coaches, we are committed to the betterment of our local area and want to wish all of our area teams the best of luck this fall. The Morris and Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City, a proud supporter of all area athletics. Planning season is here, and the Potting Shed Garden Center is happy to give you professional landscaping advice when it comes to planting your shrubs and trees. Auburn's best kept secret will have it all this fall. Mums, pansies, pumpkins, and much more. All an array of colors and sizes along with beautiful pots and containers, indoor plants, and a great selection of other gardening gifts. It's all at the Potting Shed Garden Shop, where natural elements reign supreme. Located on the corner of Moore's Mill and Society Hill Road in Auburn. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan. This unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sale. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. The lead, but they're clinging. Clinging to a 20 to 14 lead. Wildcats have really kind of taken the football game over since about midway through the second quarter. They helped us, a six plus minute drive with no points. That, we'll take it. They just kind of wiped six minutes away from the game. So Wildcats have it first and 15 at the Pelham 26, moving right to left now. Gonna stay in the four wide. Gabe Benton looks to his left, pump fake, cuts across, sidesteps a guy, and he's gonna be sacked back here at 35. There's too much pressure coming up the gut right there. That's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Well, pretty, go ahead, Randy. Pretty good movement back there in the backfield by Gabe by himself a little time. He had a defender right in his face, had Chris Foster. I don't know what that route is. It looked like a wheel pattern that he cut inside. Yeah, yeah. We, we went for a big play and went for a, went for almost like a, a go route off the off the screen, and it just wasn't there. They covered it up. I mean, good defense. Here's a second and 32. Malik Maddox in the football game here. Ball it on, or at the Panther 33. Gave him a step up and throw a pass incomplete. Threw it behind Corey down there around the 23 yard line. That was not Corey's fault. He pounds the turf with his hand, but <clears throat> and Corey's the kind of competitor. He thinks if he gets his hand on it, he's got to catch it. You got to love it. Third and 32. I think the one thing Corey saw there, though, is the defender was about eight yards off of him. If he catches that football, somebody's got to make a heck of a play in open field to tackle him. Good play call. Trips to the top, one down to the bottom. Gabe shotgun snap, blitz. Nobody picked it up. 
going to roll out. Somehow got away from it. Going to have to waste it out of bounds. Nobody picked the blitz and linebacker up at all. It was a delayed blitz. And, I mean, he ran straight up the middle, and nobody touched him. Nobody chipped him. And that was, that was a drive that just went in the – that spiral, spiraled down after that penalty. It made it a first and 15, then a sack, and then it's too much to recover from. My guys going to have to punt with 11.07 to go in the ball game, 20 to 14. They trail. There's the snout. They bring pressure. They're going to get it off. Good punt. Oh, I, no, I thought it no. went for. I thought it was going down further. No, he mm. kicked it off the side of his foot. Yep. Probably not going to get much out of this. That's That's actually going to stop at the 14, so better than, than I thought. <clears throat> Caden kind of felt a little pressure there. They brought some pressure. Pelham has the ball at their own 14 with 11 minutes to go in the ball game, up six. Great snap by Hutto there. And that's a pressure snap to get it back there. And uh, let's see if our defense, who has played well since the first quarter, have really not given up a lot to this Pelham team. All 20 of their points coming at the start of the football game. And since then, we've settled down and haven't given up the big play knock on wood. Langford in the shotgun formation. Swings a pass out there in open field and broke a tackle. Caden Hive's going to put him down. Ten yards on the play, but that that's a scary play that could go for a lot more than that. Swing pass to the wide side of the field to move the chains up to the 25. It's the one-on-one -on -one setup. Well-thrown football and timing put him matched up with that safety, and I'm glad Caden was hustling over to make that stop, or this one was a huge one down that seam. Langford, shotgun formation, two to the top, two to the bottom. One back over there. He's going to hand it to the tailback over there on the left side and uh, push forward to the 30. So they're going to pick up five. Maybe a little bit more than that. Clock more than likely rolling under 10 minutes to go in the football game on the snap of this football. It's 20 to 14, Pelham leads. You know, guys, we look back throughout the season and been three or four games that we've had a chance to take the ball down in good situations, and we hadn't we been able to, to close the deal. Yeah. And you look back on this drive, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to, to ride itself, but Pelham was second down and five and a false start coming up for the pants. We need them to help us a little bit here. We need well, them to play from one behind the turnover. sticks. Yeah, we need them to play behind the sticks. One more good turnover would help here. That's five yards loss that we'll take. Sets up second down. We'll call it 10 on the board, 9.51 to go in the ball game. 20 to 14, a missed extra point for Pelham. Second down and 10 at their 25. Length with a shotgun. It's behind him. Back here at the get 15, it. we had a chance to get on the ball. Oh. He almost slid past the football back at the 15-yard line, and we had two guys back there, but that is a huge loss on second down. Zy Owens right there on top of the play, and Gavin Vickers coming in late. Couldn't get back. He had he play by the quarterback to get back on top of the football. I think it was going to be a screen pass set up right in the middle of the field because they had two offensive linemen 20 yards down the right. field. Um, had to have thrown it behind so, the line of scrimmage. Yep. So third down, we'll call it what, 20? Huge well, we play here in the ball game. One. Clock's rolling, 8.54 and counting to go. Wildcats yeah, with all three timeouts, the Panthers with two. Need to get off the field here. Third down and 20, shotgun snap. Going to be a little quick pass out over there. Good Wildcats tackle. defend it. Very good tackle. Going to be able to put him down right there at the 20-yard line. Only got five. Fourth down, going to have to punt the football. Playing safe. Pelham trying to play it safe. And hold, and a big, big fumbled snap there by the quarterback. That's Brian Simmons, who's played really well out there. Second half of this season, he's got a good frame. Going to be a heck of a football player for us, and he stands his ground, allows him to make the move over there on the sideline and gets him down to the ground. Ty will stand at his own 49 to receive this punt. 8.05 to go in the ball game. Low snap. 
He shanked this one. I don't even know what that's called. But it's a little. Get away from yeah, it. Yeah, just get away. It's going to roll backwards go. to the 45. That was like a little spiral. Well, you know? he, like a rugby. I mean. It was, and but it kind of took a weird yeah. spin. You know, it was kind of upright. Wildcats, guys, have the ball on the Pelham 45, 753 to go in the ball game. Exactly what the doctor ordered. All three timeouts, under eight minutes to go in the ball game. Pelham side of the field have had moments tonight where we've run the football fairly well, and let's see if we go there. DeMarcus has had a decent game, and when he has had an opportunity to get it secondary, he's done it. Hand off to DeMarcus. He found some room. He got like to the 40, got now. to the 39. So that's a six-yard gain there on first down. And I like the splits on the offensive line. I know that we're showing four wide, but DeMarcus is one of those backs that he needs a little space back there uh, to run the football, <clears throat> and uh, that opportunity continues to – show itself here in this football game as he picks up six yards there on first down, takes it down to the Pelham 39. Trips to the top, one down here to the bottom. <clears throat> Gabe Benton, shotgun. Wildcats need to find pay dirt. Gonna hand it off, no, fakes it. Gabe gonna run the football now. Good Found job, a scene, Gabe. 35, uh, took a big shot. Gets down to around the 33. He's got a first down, compliments UAB Cardiology Associates. That time, Gabe Benton recognized he just had to get out of there and run the football. Hey, I even like that. I mean, yeah. he's 6'3", 205, he's heady. Uh, he's not going to break any 100-meter dash records, but Gabe's an athlete. And, um, when he can get his forward momentum going, he can pick up big chunks of yardage. I want to run the football here, boy. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. I Roll some clock and continue to make that smaller defensive front and those linebackers make plays on you, and they just haven't shown consistently tonight that they can stop our run. No, I, I agree. 6.50 to go in the ball game. Trips to the top, one down to the bottom. Hey, Benton, shotgun, going to roll the pocket. Step up, throw a man wide open. Chris Foster couldn't catch it. Down around the 16-yard line. Gabe would like this one back. He... Gets a little excited back there in the backfield. Takes a couple of extra steps. If he'd have stuck that right foot in the ground and delivered the football on a strike to Chris, no telling what Chris does with that football in the seam right there. But that's okay, live to play another play. I'm still at this position on the field as the football's down to the Pelham 33. I'd make them stop me running the football. Just not sure we're going to do it now. Yeah, second down and 10. Trips to the top, one down to the bottom. Gabe in the shotgun. Here comes that blitz. Here it comes. Gabe's dropping back to pass. Step up. This one's high. And looking for Demarcus McNeil down the sideline. And Gabe I'm took a shot. Pretty sure that's going to Corey. And almost looked like it was going to Demarcus down here. I as he think cut that's back because in. he floated it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Corey's open on a crossing pattern. And uh, Gabe getting pressure into his face. Getting a little antsy. And the football's. <clears throat> Fluttering on him a well, little bit. Well, they're bringing bit. that blitz yeah. every, from every once in a while. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't bring it here. Might be a good time to run the draw. Shotgun snap, and they do run the draw. Cut it outside, 30. Down to the 28. I think you almost have to go for it right here. A bit, you know, four or five yard gain there. Actually, six. The fourth down, 6-13. You know, sometimes you just got to make a play, guys. Well, this is one of those times. We'll roll under six minutes to go in the ball game on this snap. Still have all three timeouts, though, to mention. Fourth down, four. First number four. There he is. In the Four's slot. got a man matchup. The safety's inside. Yeah, Reed Foster here. Slot. Eight seconds. Got to hurry up. Snap it with four seconds. Going to run the draw. Not going to get there. Nice. Still time. Got to come out defensively, oh, yeah. make some plays here, get back on the field with our offense. Had our chances there. The play calls were good in the passing game. Just didn't have I enough time had back the there. Up right there. Corey a little upset on the sideline down here. I, fourth and six. <clears throat> Nevertheless, 5.36 to go. I 
Might have to step it up defensively one more time. Had two offensive possessions deep down here and haven't been able to come up with anything. They broke a tackle. 45 is what I was afraid of. 40 to the 45, almost to the 45. 528. Good piece of running back there in the backfield for Pelham. Keeping those legs driving, fighting ahead, and then picking up another 12, 14 yards after contact. Pick up the first down. Clock's rolling. We'll roll under five minutes to go here in the football game. Wildcats trail 20 to 14. Ball is now out to the Pelham 44. We'll have to find a way to stop them. They're going to run it with the quarterback, and well, he's, he's across good. midfield. Uh, this is exactly what they wanted. They got a playmaker back there, quarterback, and uh, shows the give, pulls the football, and he's a physical guy. He doesn't look it, but he's a north-south runner. Yeah. Would like to get that headgear straight ahead and run through some tackles, and he does there and picks up eight yards there on first down to set up second and two. Play clock will run all the way down. Two opportunities down there inside Pelham territory come away with nothing. Shotgun snap, going to hand off to the tailback, finds his way. Ball is on the ground. Get the ball. Get on the ball. What a we play. We got it. Zai. We got it. What a play by Zy Owens right there. Good job with the tackle to dislodge this football, but the better play was Zy. Great hands to come across and get that thing rolling on the ground. Coach Coleman, that's not easy. That ball's rolling around in a – Tense atmosphere blood. like that to be able to pull that football in solid. You gotta pull, you gotta smell blood here, guys. 415 the game right here. We got plenty of time yep. and we've been able to run the football. You know, you go back to that previous drive. We we run the fall ball on third and fourth down. Right, right. And they really hadn't stopped the run. I'm not saying that's gonna work. Uh, and you know, hey, JD had the right calls. JD Atkins had the right two calls on the previous two plays, but I do like us running the football. Well, four. 15 to go in the ball game here. You can just go win it. Little comeback screen. He's got Corey up the middle. Corey found some blocks Boy, in the open something. field. Midfield, 49-yard line. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. He has a first down, 4.05 to go here in the ball game. He's a gamer, too. You know, I, I bragged a little bit earlier on players that end up playing better when the big moments of the he game wants, he show wants up. The football. He, yeah. He's a competitor. He may show it at times on the sideline where he looks like he's upset with something coming on, but that's just the competitor in him wanting football. We got to get it to him. First and 10 at their 49. Gabe Benton shotgun snap, going to hand off to Marcus. That's some big runs run the right there Good. across the 45 down to the 44 yard line. Just take, run this clock, get in the end zone. Yeah, you don't want to leave much time left if you are able to get the football in the end zone. They got a playmaker and they got a, an arm over there at quarterback that can get it 60 yards down the field. But we pick up five there on first down, take the football down to the 44-yard line of Pelham. Clock's at 322 and counting to go in the fourth. We've got all three timeouts, Pelham with two. Trips to the bottom one to the top, ball on the far hash, moving right to left. Gabe Benton, shotgun formation, going to roll out to his left. Timeout maybe called. No, I don't uh, think. Penalty I, flag. No, top. They, somebody had a false start. Got to be on the right side of the line, yep. as you can tell where that one's thrown on the sideline. We don't like to make it easy, do we, guys? No. Second down and 10 coming up. Boy, when we do figure out how to make it easy, we're going to win a lot of football games. We are going to win a lot of football games. We just shoot ourselves in the foot. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith and Opelika. We've got them. New Chevy and GMC trucks, plus late model used trucks, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drives, crew cabs, diesels, and regular gas vehicles. On the ground and on the way. Not finding what you want? Reserve your vehicle now. Call our inventory hotline to see what's coming. It's Truck Month at Glenn Smith, Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Opelika. Get ready to smile. 
Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238, and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Are your feet in pain? Alex City Foot Specialties specializes in diagnosing and treating disorders of the foot. If you are experiencing conditions related to foot injuries, diabetic care, arthritic care, bunions, calluses, or any other foot issues, Alex City Foot Specialties has the experience and in-depth knowledge of podiatry to treat and alleviate your foot pain. Call today for an appointment. You'll be glad you did. 256-215-5596. 256-215-5596. Hey, this is Doug Roberts, long-term resident of Alexander City. I sold my house with Century 21 Lake Area Realty because all my life I had heard that to sell a house, you need three things. Location, location, location. I found out there's actually four. You need location, 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 and Rhonda Gaskins at Century 21 Lake Area Realty to sell your house fast. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. When you're on the go and want to grab a good lunch, go to Carlisle's Soda Fountain. Their weekly soup special and a signature Carlisle sandwich is hard to beat. Call it in at 256-392-4622. Carlisle's Soda Fountain, serving our customers since 1914. Hello, I'm Karen Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher. Coupled with a deadbolt lock and a smoke alarm, that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and center services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. When Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car, we built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates, and industries, and communities, livelihoods, and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. 258, we have the ball in our hands, though. Down six, I like it. Take the snap. Gabe Benton going to drop back, going to aim, fire. He's got his receiver, oh. and Newt didn't look it in. He had a first down. Can't throw this football better. It's a comeback pattern inside the 40-yard line. Gabe, three-step drop, sticks that right foot in the ground, throws a strike over there on the sideline. McKinney just can't bring this one in. Got to move the chains, guys. Third down and 10, clock is stopped now with 2.49 to go in the ball game. Again, Wildcats with all three timeouts left. Let's see the matchup they have with four. They're gonna go man, they don't have a choice. They've gotta put four on four. Yeah. So we're changing that up, which is going to give some other guys Where's a Chris chance. Foster at? Shotgun snap. Gabe yeah, gonna drop back, deliver a pass. He what caught it. My word. He what caught it at the 32. Corey Milner extends out and catches it at the 32. You know, here's also the problem. If they do decide they want to put their best defender on him, it's a man-to-man. -man. With that man-to-man, -man, I don't know anybody what matching up with this guy. What in the world? Dove stretched out. Corey Milner just. He's super. He is. He's as good as we've had here. Yeah. There's First no down and 10 at the Pelham 32. Shotgun snap, gonna play the draw, and they got him. Back there in the back, oh, they read that one. Nice defensive call by Pelham over there. They, they've they seen that play and they struggled with it. We've picked up six, seven yards on first down with it multiple times, but a good job by Pelham. And again, we're not in a rush. This clock is now just rolling under two minutes to go in the ball yeah. game. We've got all three timeouts. 
last thing you want is any time left. Yeah, we just don't want negative plays like that. Yeah. Second down and 14. Ball back to the 34. We need to get it on down the field. Not in the man now. Not in the man unless they show something Up different. Up at the top. Yep. It is. Gabe going to drop back under pressure. Going to step up. Have to throw it. Just have to get rid of it. Just take it and run, run it. with the ball. There, there you, you go. go. Run out of bounds. Just take what you get. 132. Picks up five yards. I'm not, I'm not sure what the play. I don't know if it was a busted. I, I only saw one receiver running down the field on the route. I, I think there was some miscommunication there. Third but good down. job by Gabe by gaining positive yards right <laughs> on it. Was well, third down and 10. Gets out of bounds too, Coach. So hold off on that timeout with a minute 32 to go in the ball game. At the 33. Bringing pressure out here, guys. Oh, sure they are which is going to leave that middle of the field open. Watch Foster. Four seconds on the play clock. They snap it and drop back to pass under pressure. He, it. It. he was. It was Chris Foster back there. Just not enough time. He needs enough time to sit that right foot in the ground and throw the football. He's got Foster open, and if he hits Foster right here, it's Foster and a safety. Four That's down it. To 10. This is the ball game. Good play call, real good play call. We've just got to pick up on these blitzes. Yeah, on both us. sides, really, though, Coach. Pelham, yeah. Pelham had a good plan. Yeah, we're going to call a timeout here. Yeah. <clears throat> Talk about this one. Great football game. We proud not, of our guys. Very proud able, of our guys. Have no not been quit. able to pick up the blitzes tonight. And you think they, you think they'll bring it right here? Absolutely. I wouldn't mind seeing that little slip screen to Corey. We've ran we it haven't been able times. to execute very well when they do bring the blitz. They're, they're, they're going to be man-to-man if they're bringing it like that. Yeah, but he's got to have enough time to deliver it. That's the thing. And I think they're going to roll the dice and come after him. Minute and 24 seconds to go in the ball game. Fourth down and 10. Wildcats at the Pelham 32. Panthers lead by six. This offensive juggernaut Panther team opened the game with 20 points. 20 yep. to nothing. Haven't scored a point since. It's going to come down to this. Still very proud of our kids. No quit tonight. Give up 20 points. Come back, and we've had more than our fair share of chances, and it's still not over. Playoffs on the line. Big opportunity here for another big play. They need to stop the band. It's not the time to be played. Oh, they can hear it. Let's go. Let's go. Fourth down and 10. Shotgun snap. Gabe's going to drop back. Can he throw it? Going to have to throw it. Going to have to throw it. Got to throw time. the ball. He does Got not it. have time to throw the football, and he's having to roll the pocket back to the left. No time to do anything there. Great job by Gabe to escape. I thought he had almost given himself plenty of time to get rid of it. Just nowhere to go with it down the field. Looked like he may have had a lane to run, too. I had a chance right there, right out of the gate. Roll to the left and nowhere to go with the ball. There's too many defenders on top of him. And that's been a, a theme for us offensively the last two weeks. When we've given our quarterback time to throw the football, we've been able to do it. But when we've struggled, and they put defenders on top of us, it's been tough back there. And he's still a young guy. He's only a 10th grader. High gun snap. Good job by Gavin Vickers right there. Call a timeout. Kind of hoping for another penalty. We did have all three timeouts left, so there is a chance that. Oh, we only have two. Yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah, hey, we yeah, yeah, we're right. we'd already taken one. Call one on the fourth down. Yeah. So maybe at the most 10, 15 seconds difference. Yeah. 109 to go. This one's going to sting. The senior group will not have a path to the playoffs if they lose this one. So close, 20 to 14. Three offensive possessions inside Pelham territory with no points here in the latter part of the game for the Wildcats is the story. Mm -hmm. 
Proud of our effort tonight, though. Very proud of our effort. 20 to 14. Panthers on top. Two to the top, one down to the bottom. Shotgun snap. Going to hand off to the running back over here on the right side. and Go out of bounds. Going to go out of bounds, but I think he's got a first yeah, down. Yeah, he did get the first, I think. I'll probably do it right there. I don't think they're going to give it to him. Third and short. That works out in our favor. If they don't get it right here, we can call timeout and still have the ball with about 55 seconds <coughs> left. Wow. Good call, Wes. See what happens here. Not dead yet. Ball to 46. Almost got to take a chance here. Going to bring Savon and Jai on a little blitz. See if we can guess the hole. So going to give it off, and he got it. Yep. First down, 40, 35, spinning down to the 30, and I'll do it. Yep. That'll wrap it up. 54 seconds, Wildcats. This one's going to. And their running backs really played well. Been able to probably get 75% of the yards that he's got tonight, Coach, after contact. We've had defenders on him at the line of scrimmage, and, man, he is just strong in the lower half. And, Keeps those legs driving and moving through. Yeah. Oh, man. Still on the ball. That'll wrap it up. We'll head to the post-game show, 30 seconds. We'll have to snap it again. Wildcats going to fall 20 to 14, pretty much eliminating any hopes of playoffs here for this team. Take a break. When we come back, it'll be the Vice Motors Post Game Show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Let me tell you about a barbecue place that's not just a barbecue place anymore. It's downtown Alexander City. It's Fire Truck Barbecue, where they have a meat and three. And when I say that, those vegetables, I'm talking about fresh vegetables, not out of the can. Now, they do a lot of catering, too. Don't you go by and see my buddy Kenneth Ledbetter and the whole crew and his lovely wife, Julie, at Fire Truck Barbecue, downtown Alexander City. A&M Plumbing, A&M Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. From the smallest drippy faucet to drain cleaning to water heater replacement to gas lines to total systems replacement, AM Plumbing handles it all. Visit amplumbing.net today for the experienced, licensed, and insured pros at AM Plumbing. AM Plumbing, AM Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life, you deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and social security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Tapley Appliance Center has always been your home for the best lines of appliances like Whirlpool, Amana, and KitchenAid, all with the lake's best prices, install, and service beyond compare. But Tapley wants you to know Joe, Kamado Joe, 
That's right, Tapley Appliance now has Kamado Joe Grills. Lake Grillers rejoice because Kamado Joe Grills offer total heat control with airlift hinges and more standard accessories than other ceramics. Whether grilling or smoking, Joe is the one to know. Kamado Joe Grills, only at your friendly appliance and grill center, Tapley Appliance Center, Ellick City. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan with unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sales. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Go here, Wildcats fall 20 to 14, eliminates their chances of a playoff berth for this for this team and can't spot somebody 20 points. Bottom line, bottom 20, fought back, had three chances inside Pelham territory to score in the fourth quarter and couldn't do it. Tough pill for these seniors. Yeah, Three. tough loss out there. You know, I, I was very proud of the kids getting down 20 to nothing, no quit. Um, had plenty of chances there in the second half to, to reel together enough offense <clears throat> to win this football game. Uh, tip your hat. We were able to run the football a little better tonight than we have all season long. We may have rushed the ball for 100 yards in the opening game, but I don't think we've sniffed it since then, Coach Coleman. But we were right there at it tonight. And DeMarcus had a heck of a game. DeMarcus McNeil. Uh, ran the ball for 93 yards tonight. Ran through a lot of tackles, almost seven yards per carry. Um, Corey Milliner came through in the clutch and played really, really well in the second half and had over 100 yards receiving. Um, it's a young group. It's a sophomore quarterback back there that's that's kind of learning the ropes as well. And, um, you know, he'll watch this film and he'll notice that he had some plays out there. But uh, we struggled keeping their defensive front and their linebackers off the quarterback. And if you give Gabe the time, I think you'd have picked them apart. Um, so I, I think the answer that I got for you is tip your hat to that coaching staff across the way for Pelham. I thought they did a really good job of coverage and designing uh, different looks for us to try to confuse us. Gordy's Furniture, Wildcat play of the game. East Alabama's finest selection of furniture at its best price, the Wildcat play of the game play of the game here in the ball game, I'd, I'd have to go with one of those Milliner catches, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, he had, he had one. It wasn't on like a third and 12. It made yeah. it fourth down over the middle, stretched out. Um, Gabe had 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 guys in his grill, but but Corey just made play after play tonight yeah. when given the opportunity. Maybe a little back at the play of the game of the third and 16 to keep that that drive going there in the first half that, that gave us an opportunity to score. And a lot of, a lot of plays – out there made uh, to bring this team back just fell a little bit short but congratulations uh, to Corey Milner he made a lot of uh, gory furniture express wildcat plays of the game the dark insurance player of the game don't be in the dark about your insurance needs call dark insurance definitely DeMarcus for me he had 93 yeah. yards rushing on 14 carries really played well had, had some had some explosive runs also where he was really a step or two away from making another 30 or 40 yard game. Was really proud of his play out there tonight. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm going to go back and I said it on the air, you know, he had made a real big block on Nuke's run, which Good point. in my opinion gave us a spark we needed offensively to get back into the game. And when a skilled guy, how he plays when he doesn't have the ball in his hands really tells you tells me a lot about who he is and his character and all. And so so well well put on Demarcus getting that player of the game for Congratulations, us. Demarcus McNeil, senior, making the uh, winning the Dark Insurance Player of the Game. Now the Alex City Foot Specialties replay of the game. Your feet or your foundation give the proper care they deserve at Alex City Foot Specialties. Uh, probably that uh, fumble recovery by Zy Owens was the most True. exciting play of the game because you ha did have a sense with this offense and the way that we played from about midway on the <clears throat> second quarter throughout the end of the ball game that if we gave the ball back to our offense, we had a good chance. And uh, that ball's rolling around on the ground and Zy Owens able to, to see it and jump on top of it was a great play and a good one to go back and take a look at. Yeah, congratulations making that play, recovering that fumble. You want to go back and watch that one. Uh, on the replay. Guys, that's going to wrap it up here from uh, the Sportplex. Wildcats fall to the Panthers tonight, 20-14 to 14 here on the Bice Motors postgame show. Buy it at Bice, your hometown Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram dealer. Wildcats with uh, three football games left. You've got uh, Chilton County next week, uh, homecoming, then on the road to Calera, and then to finish out the season 
uh, with senior night with Sylacauga coming to town in a few weeks. But that's uh, the remainder of the season for this Wildcat football team. See if they can end on a high note with the teams left on the schedule. See if they can uh, – uh, get three wins uh, as they close out the season. But that's going to wrap it up here from the Sportsplex. Again, Wildcats fall 20-14 to 14 to the Panthers. Uh, again, tough tough break for the Wildcats, and uh, they'll be back in action homecoming night next week against Chilton County. For our entire Wildcat football network crew, Wes Coleman, Randy Lee, I'm Brett Pritchard saying we've enjoyed it. Well, yeah, see you next time. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Martin's Music in Alex City has moved. Now located across from State Farm on Highway 280, Martin's Music is your one-stop shop for great prices on new and used guitars and amps. Plus, they have all the accessories to go with it. You can also get your current instrument set up or repaired right on site, where satisfaction is guaranteed. Don't pay the retail price when you can pay the right price. Stop by Martin's Music today on 280 in Alex City. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20-mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? But well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this. It's public transportation. Their number to call is 256 329 84 44. 